It's ECP. We are live. Y'all punch a one in there if you can hear me okay. Let's see what's going on here. Mrs. ECP's a little tired. She's not mad at me. She'll be up here in a minute. She will be helping, she said tonight, which is very good. Because I can always use the help. We got some a really neat auction tonight. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Really neat auction. Six people in a house. 14 likes. ECP, don't miss auction. Let me get my phone up here so I can read the chat. We got the Milo and the frog hair snipe emojis going up. Two more members tonight, and we get another emoji. Two more channel members, and we will get another emoji tonight. So that's kind of exciting. And you can become a Milo Lover member for only 99 cents a month. Well, a lot of good stuff. There's Mrs. ECP coming up. We've got Rookie here tonight. You guys want to see Rookie? My daughter's dog's here. The Golden Doodle. So we have a Rookie and Milo. She's throwing toys out so they can play while we're live streaming. Come here, Rook. Come here, Rookie. Hey, Rook. Come here. Rookie, come here. There she's do something to him. Rookie, say hi to everybody here on YouTube. He's a big golden doodle. He's a horse. Loving this dog. All 17 in the house for the Don't Miss Auction, Mrs. ECP. They're all going to come out tonight. We're going to have a good time. We are going to have a good time. I got some stickers in. So in all the new people, Joseph Richard, good to see you. Thank you very much, sir. Jonathan Reese, Perry Art, Tay Jones, Bank 2006, Rebel Stacker. Great Lake Silver Stacker. We got them all in here, Mrs. ECP. Director of Awesome, Tay Jones, Jonathan Reese. We did free ECP. He's right here. Gold Miner 07. Yeah. Hey, Gold Miner, look what we might have in the auction tonight. A little gold nugget action. Almost one grand. 0 0.91. It's a beauty. Alaska gold nugget. Thing's gorgeous. It's payday ECP. Well, good, and we've also got, look at this, y'all see it, a point ten gram crystallized silver nugget. You might get to see that tonight, too. we got a lot of that, and we might even have maybe an ancient Roman coin. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm giving you a little sneak peek at a few things there. Ancient Roman coin. we got a lot of good stuff. Fan shredded cheese. Make America great again. <laughs> Grated cheese. I get it. Dib says full push metals. Ricky, how bad is lag? They probably got a good lag. Got 19 people already in here. You guys are going good. We got Uncle Shane in here. Uncle Shane's in the house. We got a lot of good stuff. The Saints here. Full push metals here. 47 420s here. We got them all, Mrs. ECP. They're piling in here. Almost 20 people. 20 likes, 19 people. They are pouring in here. Mrs. ECP, you going to start today? We're going to start yep. like number 20. There you go. We'll go ahead and start it out early. Let's see what we got first. Come on, Ricky. What's the first item? We got some nice quality. Is that a, oh. Oh, sorry, my wife. The S, let's see. Are you talking about that micro S? The 45 S micro S? Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Check this out, guys. Check it out. Now, this is very numismatic. Hmm. To start out the auction, I told you, don't miss this auction. A 1945 Micro S in fine to very fine. I think it's a very fine. But this is a beautiful Micro S. Let's see if I can get my hand behind it. There we go. Micro S Mercury Dime. Pretty doggone neat. Mrs. ECP is going to give me some better lighting. There you go. There we go. We'll just fix the lighting all together there. She's going to put some some shine on there. There we go. Micro S. Let's 
you know what? You if you're the Merc man, you tell me because I bought the, got this years ago from a dealer. I know he's a reputable guy, and this is supposed to be a 1945 S Micro S. So how you tell Micro S from area? I would assume it's smaller. I would assume it's small. It looks awful small. I see it there. I'm having trouble focusing on it because it's, uh, it's way down there. So it's a Micro S. Must have been one of the dies that was microed. Yep. Pretty neat. Let me look at it with my my loop. I'll tell you if I can tell a difference. Put your glasses. Well, the loop I should be okay even without glasses. So let's look and see. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's micro, and it looks good. Wait till you see it in person. Yeah, we'll take those out. Yeah, we'll take these out. These go to later on, depending on how everything's going. These things are pretty special. We've got a rattler there coming tonight. All right, there we go. Somebody's giving an explanation. Clean? Let me check. She wants to know if my camera's clean. That's a good question. Let's clean the camera. Is it cleaner now? Mrs. ECP says that helped. I think so. Let's see if it helps. How much it helps? See if we see the micro S any better. Oh, yeah. Well, I think you're right. I think it did help. Well, I got her here, guys. She's a big <laughs> help. Here we go. The 1945 Mercury Dime Micro F, and it's in a fine, very fine condition. We're going to start at a $7 starting bid. Seven dollars. This is more of a numismatic Merc. Numismatic Merc by far and away. So we will start her out. Seven dollars. There's Chad. Chad L. How you doing, my buddy? Great Lake Silver Stacker at seven. Five L. Four H Ranch and Bees. It's one of our B bros. Yay! It's good to see him in here. Director of Awesome, we got 29 already in the house, Mrs. ECP. The auction is ready to go. Xerix in the house. Easy, my internet's not working, so I'm chilling. Be over 30 second lag. Oh, then you better bid hard and fast <laughs> out there and get it going. So we got 1945 Numismatic Micro S Mercury for $7. We're going to start Joseph Richard at eight. Eight dollars for Joseph Richard. We got the dogs in the house. We got Rookie and Milo both. Mm. Tay Jones at nine. Tay Jones at nine. Mrs. ECP won't let me hurry. You know that. She won't let me hurry. She always tell me, slow down. She don't care if she stays till midnight. Joseph Richards at ten. <laughs> William Blanchard, another big guy. You are rotten. Bank 2006 right behind him at ten. So Red Joseph Richards got the ten spot bid. William Blanchard's another one of our B buddies with B videos, guys. If you like to watch B videos, you got two different B guys in here. Welcome to the stream, with William. So we're gonna count this down to Joseph Richard going once at ten. Bank wants it. He's gonna have to throw an eleven spot up. Going twice to Joseph Richard. And we're going to count it down. Got about four people was bidding on that, Joseph. I don't know if they're going to snipe you or not. In three, two, one, and sold, sold Yay. to Joseph Richard. Congratulations. You're welcome, welcome, William Branchard. You're more welcome. Thank you for watching my B videos and commenting. I'm trying to get out there to the B world, and it's a challenge at times. I got a lot of numismatic coin stackers out there but don't have as many of the b people when you start hybriding your channel doing more than one genre they don't they youtube's not real crazy about it okay. all right here we go got a nice early date morgan good details nice toner 1920 look at this bad boy or i should say well i guess merc is a boy right <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing's gorgeous. Gorgeous Mercury Dime. Early date, 1920. What well, are we going to start it out, Mrs. ECP? $5. $5 starting bid. $5. Can't beat that at Walmart. 
wants to pay over two dollars in silver alone, not counting the numismatic value. And this is an early date Merc, 1920. Great Lakes Silver Stacker at five. Hey, Dennis Stewart, my Canadian brother. The Canadian brother's in the house, guys. There's the Canadian brother. We got Great Lakes Silver Stacker. We got an emoji for the Canadians, don't we? It comes in there. And if we find a Canadian for coin roll hunting in Lincoln Sense, we got one too. 31 people already here. 25 likes. Pinger Prospecting, they're saying, is in the house, Mrs. ECP. Hey, Pinger. Yay. Pinger and Dennis, he says, hello. Hi, Good nice. to see you, Pinger. I didn't see him slip in. <laughs> they're sneaking in left and right, Mrs. That's ECP. Okay. We like them. All right, we got $5 to Great Lake Silver Stacker for a 1920 early date Merc. Toner. Nice toner. Going once. You want to steal this one? <laughs> we'll steal this one. Going twice. Very early Merc, 1920. Going twice. The Great Lake Silver Stacker. And three, two, one. And sold, sold to Great Lakes Silver Stacker. Congratulations. Congratulations. Got a lot in there, so we're not going to. Dilly dally too long. Hopefully you guys don't got too bad a lag. There's Stormy's in the house. We're gonna we're gonna do a Stormy sticker tonight too sometime around here. No, no, not that sticker. That one's mine. That's got number twenty one on it. We got some Stormy. That's another, that's another Stormy sticker to get out here though. I can tell you that. That's not the one. Though. I grabbed the wrong one. I'll find it here in a little bit. Six second lag says Dennis Stewart. That's good to know. Thank you. 19K. Okay, here we go. You know, with these mercs, it gets bigger and better each time. 1936, guys. Check out this merc. It's a beaut. 1936. If you're a mercury person, keep your eyes peeled for this one. 1936. Mercury dime. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. And we'll see what the that. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at these bands. These bands look great. Put your hand. Put my hand behind it, Mrs. ECP said. Look at those bands. You see it in person. The camera's not picking it up. They're very strong bands. 1936 Merc, guys, in great condition. Nice, nice coin. Nice details. What are we starting at, Mrs. ECP, for this $10. beauty? $10 starting bid. This one's a looker, guys. I paid up for this one myself. This one's out of my private collection. When you see this one, it's the real deal. $10 starting bid. 1936 Mercury Dime. It looks great. We got some new ECP stickers today, too, so if you don't have one, let me know. This thing's a beauty. 1936 Mercury Dime. We got any Merc collectors in here tonight? I don't know, Mrs. ECP, if we got any there or not. Haven't seen anybody at 10. Let's do 8. I'll go down to 8. I'll go down to 8 on it as a starting bid. That's as low as I can go on that one. I'm going to have to stick it back and hang on to it. <laughs> I ain't done that in a long time. I don't believe I've ever done that. Once, I think. One they can go off once, yeah, maybe once. once. Yeah. $8 starting bid for 1936. Great Lake says, I'll add it with this ladder when I got it. He'll say $8. Go. There we go. Great Lakes. That's a good deal. He's going to get two good deals on two Mercs. Good. He's already paid it for shipping, so hey, can't beat <laughs> Why it. Why not? Going Great Lakes Silver Stacker, going once. Great Lakes going twice. Sometimes these early ones, that's your best deals. Oh, yeah. Going three. We got a six second lag, right? Yeah. Two. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, and sold, sold <laughs> to Great Lakes Silver Stacker. Your bag's growing nice. already early. Nice. What we got next night, Mrs. ECP? We have a 1920. 1920. Got the early Numis Max. Half dollar walking liberty. Strong date. Walker, check it out. Nice looking reverse. And you know what? 
I think there's an error right there. Look at that. That doesn't look like damage. That looks like an error coin. Where it's pressed over. It's probably maybe a die trip or extra metal pressed. That looks like it doesn't look like a ding. Man, look at it. Yep. That's a nice look one. I think there's a good chance for an error coin there. Won't guarantee it. You be the judge. But that's a good looking 1920 Walker. I love it too. Beautiful 1920. Early date Walker. Nice original surfaces. Nice patina. What are we starting this out at, Mrs. ECP? Let's show them that reverse. 1920 Walker. $18 starting bid. $18 starting bid for the Walker. 100 years old. That's exactly right. $18. It's a beautiful coin, guys and gals. Ozzy at 18. JR at 18. Ozzy. Ozzy, 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 Ozzy. My Australian brother. I want to be curious to see how long it takes you to get that last package. <laughs> JR at 19. JR at 19. We, I think we even insured it, too. Yes, you did. He did. I did. I stepped up. William Blanchard jumps in the mix. The new guy. We'll get him the new yeah, ECP yeah. stickers, too. Yep. He's one of my B followers, and I follow his B channel, too. Okay. Got him at 20. Blanchard at 20. I know him well. Blanchard and 5L Ranch and Bs, they're already registered because I already know they are not any mm -hmm. kind of troll. Most of the silver dollars I have are the late 1800s. We got oh, some wow. of those, two coming up tonight, Chad. Joseph Richard at 21. Joseph Richard at 21. Ozzy at 22. They're realizing this 1920. What it's like. 22 for Ozzy Alchemist. Milo's down here chewing on a new toy. Actually, he's, he's ripped it to shreds. He's ripping it to shreds. It looks like a, a red monkey or it's something. A fox. It's a red fox. Yes. I stand corrected. So we're going to see if Ozzy's going to get this thing shipped over to Australia. Going once to Ozzy Alchemist at 22. You guys going to let this beautiful American coin go over to Australia. I don't blame you. Going twice. Heard you have an old Roman coin tonight. No, they're not slabbed, Arian Stacker, but I have an ancient Roman coin tonight. We haven't decided when we're going to throw her in. So we figured probably about midstream, maybe after the giveaway. What I was thinking anyways, or thunking. And we'll count her down to Aussie Alchemist. We probably got that six second lag covered if anybody wanted to jump in. Beautiful 1920. William Blanchard at 23 with the snipe. It was a frog hair snipe. Sniper emoji time, guys and members. Where's those snipers at? Beautiful 1920. And this is what we got, William Blanchard, for the snipes. We got the sniper emoji, and if it's a real close one, we can always do the sniper frog hair emoji. <laughs> so we got Richard William Blanchard at 23. Going once. He sniped you, Ozzy. Sniped the Australian. Going twice. Yeah, Ozzy's probably got a lag, too. Going twice to William Blanchard. And William, since you are new and Chad's new, $4 covers everything for shipping for you. That's first class mail with tracking. And sometimes we put some insurance on there too if you bought too much. Or you buy, I buy enough, to, not to say too much, but buy enough that we want to put a little insurance on that package. Ozzy at 24 with the snipe. Ozzy returns the sniping favor back onto William. Milo saw that when he said, Milo said, there's a snipe, Dad. <laughs> there was a snipe. I saw it. Was it a frog hair snipe, Milo? It might have been. It was close to one. Ozzy at 24. Where's my members at putting the emojis? I got a bunch of members in here. Two more, and we got an There's Pinger. Pinger's holding up the fort. He put the frog hair snipe. Pinger coined the weight. Split that hair three ways. There's the battle going on, says Pinger. You're right. Between Ozzy and William. Going once to Ozzy Alchemist at 24. <coughs> going twice. A little cough here out of ECP. 
for Ozzy Alchemist, my Australian brother from another mother. And let's put it three ways, says Pinger Prospecting. Absolutely. And we're going to start counting it down with that six second lag. Three. There's two seconds. Two. There's four seconds. One. And the full second lag is covered. And sold, sold to Ozzy Alchemist at 24. Nice. Congratulations, Ozzy, man. It's a beautiful 1920 Walker. Nice. And I swear I think that's an error. I think that doesn't look like a ding. That looks like that was pressed in the minting process, my friend. You might have found a real gem there. That might be nice. the first good cherry pick on my channel. Nice, and nice, A good, Ozzie. good cherry pick. All right. We love the half dollars. 1917, and we've had these before, but not the D's. 1917 D, guys. Denver Mint. Look at You can see the D well. Denver Mint. 1917 D for Denver. What are we starting this at, at Mrs. ECP? 18 $18 starting bid for a 1917 D. Three years earlier, Denver Mint. Nice patina. What was the first year? 1916. So this is what? The second year? $20 says J.R. Cawthon. J.R. is in the house. H.D. Shovelhead. Good to see you, my friend. You remember H.D.? We did the gold mining uh, trip with, uh, oh, okay. with Ed and Jess. Yes, yes, yes. You remember yes. H.D.? He's yep. from down, down in Tennessee, I believe, aren't you, Absolutely. H.D.? Absolutely. Long time I see my brother. We got 31 in the house. Nice. 30 likes. We got Joseph Richard at 20, and we're going to go once to Joseph Richard at the 20 spot. No, I'm sorry, J.R. Coffin. I said Joseph go. Richard. What am I saying? I don't know. You're oh, I saw early. that J.R. at 20, You're starting early and I was one. thinking Joseph Richard. <laughs> I'm starting early. My dyslexia and my Alzheimer's are coming in quick and in early. Starting Old early age tonight. is getting me. So we're counting down to J.R. Coffin at 20. And we did once to J.R. And twice to J.R. Watch out. There's been snipers already early in here, J.R. So watch out. That's a 1917 D. Denver early minted. Silver half dollar. And Ozzy Alchemist from across the pond at 21. He snipes long range from Australia. <laughs> What a heck of a rifle that man's got. Woo! That's a long shot. Long shot for Ozzy. Holy cow. And JR repeats it right back at him. I think we got a little battle going on here between JR and Ozzy. There we go. JR at 22. 22 for the 1917D. Going once. Remember, these got numismatic value. Plus, silver's way up there still now, so these half dollars got a lot more silver value also. Going once to JR. He's going to unplug everything I got, that dog is. Going twice in the ECP doghouse. As people are knocking on the door, the dogs are going on. Only allowed longbows, guns, outlawed knives. Oh, Ozzy Alchemist with a long shot. Longbow from Australia, but JR does a flip around snipe because he's got a rifle from the US at 25. ECP, any luck finding any of those COVID 19 bars from your dealer? No, Jonathan, friend, I will be there tomorrow, my friend. If you want to send me an email tonight, I'll send you my cell phone number and I'll text or call you. Uh, you can send me your cell phone number. When I'm there, uh, actually not tomorrow, Saturday, I will be by the national, the regional distributor, the big guy, and see if he's got any. So that would be the, the guy that I could be lucky finding him. So send me an email. Uh, if you got a cell phone or phone number or something I can text you, I'll see if I've got it. So Ozzy says he's out, so we're counting it down to JR. Going once to JR. Going twice. To JR, just send me an email. And three, two, one, and 
sold, sold to JR for 25. Congratulations, JR Coffin. Nice, 1917. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Nice original patina. Nice. Nice looking coin. What we got next, Mrs. ECB? Okay. Mm, oh, Barber Zone. Barber Zone. 1907. Okay, what do you have? Original patina. Barber okay. half. And I don't see Funny. wheels in here. I don't <laughs> see Henry in here. This might be a chance for you guys to get. A half dollar, 1907D, Barber half dollar. You got it. We work our way up through the field. Well, are we starting it out, Mrs. ECP? $18 starting bid. Even though it's a Barber and even older, we're starting it out the same amount we started out the Walkers. I don't see any big wells. Here's the moment. You got it, Dennis Stewart. Next, now's the time to snag it, and you can... Can handle that Canadian shipping. We're shipping to Australia. We can ship to Canada. <laughs> Aussie Alchemist at 18. Spread truth only. Are you registered, my friend? If you aren't, just send a one dollar super chat. Or if you join for 99 cents as a Milo lover, as a member, that'll register you too. Jonathan Friend at 19 or email. Yeah, email, PayPal, or membership. They're all a buck. 99 cents for the membership. You save a penny. And then you can take that dollar off of your first win. You take that dollar off your first win. So we got JR23. He says, I've already taken care of my shipping now at four bucks. Anything I add now, shipping stays the same. My channel name was Stephen Miranda. So you already registered as Stephen Miranda before? If that's the case, I'll, I'll go with it. Spread, spread, spread truthology. That sounds. Vaguely familiar, my friend. Somebody can probably vouch for you in there. JR26. JR26. Anybody want to vouch for Stephen Miranda there? I think that really sounds familiar to me. My wife's going to check the address books there and see. Probably in there. He's got a list we keep. Yes, I'm pretty sure he did. Yep. My wife says, You're good. No? Nope. Yep, you're good. You're good, spread truthology. You are good. Okay. Ozzy says he's golden. Good deal. He'll vouch for spread. And Ozzy says that's your golden. JR26. JR26 going once. What are you doing? 27 would be the next bid, spread truthology. Truth only. Spread truth only. I said truthology. <laughs> now I'll tell you what, I need to put my glasses on. Go on twice. Spread truth only. You're funny. That's a good name. I like that. I like spread truth only. And three. If you can read it. <laughs> if I can read it. Two. Oh, what's one. And sold to J.R. Cawthon. And spread truth only says I'm out. Four. Twenty-six to J.R. Awesome. Cawthon. Congratulations. Twenty-six, J.R. Awesome, awesome. Rocking and rolling. Put that bad boy... In there, okay. Jr. Have you already got an ECP sticker? I got some new ones in. I think he does. I think he does too. But if you don't have one, let me know, Jr. If you need a sticker. 1908, nicer and better patina, guys. More detail. That's why it's second. Look at this. Nice detail on this one. Nice patina. Good looking. Barber half dollar. Oh, we starting this one out, Mrs. E.T. 18? 18. 18 again. 18, 18. For even the best barber so far of the evening. Yep. And the last barber. If you want a good barber and Henry and Wills are out of here, you know they'd be paying $30 and $40 fighting it out for this thing. Now's a chance to get a good barber with some pretty good details there. An original patina. This thing doesn't look to be cleaned or anything. It looks really nice. Real original patina. Nice looking coin. 1908 Barber. Bigger and better. There you go. Now's your chance because you know what they do to those barbers. Highly collectible. Barbers are one of the things that, that, that the coin shows. They fly off the shelves. Ozzy at 24. Spread Truth Only at 25. JR right behind Spread Truth Only at 25. It'll take 26 to knock Spread Truthology out of that Truth Only. 
<laughs> off the pedestal. And Ozzy does that. Made it. Can't stay. Love you all. Bad night all around. Oh, Silver Wheels. I hate oh, that. Sorry. Prayers sent, my friend. Oh. Prayers sent to you, Miss Karen. Aunt Frey coming through. 1,354,000 minutes. Low mintage for a 1908. Good condition, Barber. There you go. Is there any chance on a slab buffalo nickel in the future? Oh, uh, possibly. That might be a good one. <laughs> I might have one better in the back room I can throw in next week. I'll see if I've got one for you, my friend. Oh. I know I've got a slab nickel back there, but I don't think... You know what? I do have one. I think I do have one. I have to look. I think there's some couple of real nice ones back there in my collection. Yeah, I'll try and do that. Mrs. ECP's writing a note down here to remind me. Now, you're going to write that on that. You need to write that in a different spot because right i got extra here. things to throw in there That's tonight. okay. We're good. You'll figure it out, won't we're you? We're all good. Ozzy at 28. We're JR good. was at 27 while I was yip-yapping about a buffalo nickel slab. We'll try and get one in there, though. So we got Ozzy at 28. This thing's a looker, guys. Low mintage, 1.3 million. Nice barber half. You know what Henry would be doing. Henry would be trying to snag that with his gambler money. In He's in Vegas right now blowing a, blowing a chunk again. probably. Thank you all. Get that constitutional. It's worth it. See, he, Will's nose. The 1908 <laughs> barber, she said, it's worth it. JR at 30. Going once for a beautiful 1908. Great details. Low mintage. 1.3 million barber half. This would be a good one to fill in a collection. Going twice to J.R. Wills, we love you to death, sweetheart. Love you, you know Karen. that. And three, we'll keep you in our prayers, honey. One, and sold, sold to J.R. Congratulations for $30. What a deal. Beautiful coin, J.R. I'd get that into a righteous flip, and I think you're going to be very happy with that. Thank you. You're getting 16 teeth pulled next Thursday. Oh, my God. That's your whole mouth, isn't it? That's miserable. Ugh. I had oh, one pulled, and I was miserable. Oh, I had to have an oral Christ. surgeon take one out, and it took him an hour and a half to get it out. That's no fun. Oh, that was no fun at all. What we got next? You have. Are we out of the barber zone? Uh-oh. These guys, guys and gals love these. Okay. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. One ounce. You got it, Silver Town. The eagle with the banner, Screeching Eagle. This has got the arrows. He's got the branches. He's got the shield he's on top of. Look at that shield. This thing is awesome. One ounce, Silver Town, Eagle. Man, tell me that's not right. She's in an airtight already. Ozzy's at 33. They're already at it. We're starting, Ozzy. We're starting. Ozzy. Ozzy's got it up to the starting bid. Right there. Man, that's, guys, this is a beauty. I hadn't seen this before. I had not seen it. I'm trying to get unique stuff. There's JR at 35. I'm trying to get some unique stuff. And, man, this one fits the bill. This is a beauty. Come on, focus, Clark. Focus. There we go. Back to a focus. Beautiful coinage. Truly awesome. Ozzy at 36. 36. If that is because they look up the coconut oil, splash it in your mouth for 10 or 20 minutes every day to pull your cabbage out and solidify the teeth. Oh, <laughs> Jonathan Friend at 37. 37 for Mr. Jonathan. Ozzy Alchemist at 40. That's where them bars usually go is right around 40. <laughs> That's where we go, 40 and up. They usually end up in the 40-something range. They're beautiful. This is nice. This is a nice one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hmm. Nice rant, nice bar. I love the bars. Bars are getting really popular. People like those bars. And they're nice to stack. Look at that. In a nice airtight silver town. Got the donkey. Got the prospector finger prospecting on there. And a beautiful <laughs> eagle. I love the eagle. And it's got silver town in the banner to it. One ounce, three nines, fine silver. Let's count it down. Ozzy at 40. Going once. No 10-ounce bars tonight, but we got some other pretty great things. Going twice to Ozzy Alchemist. 
those 10 ounce bars, they, they get to be a little bit of a pain insuring and shipping because I got to spend more on the shipping. Jonathan Friend with the snipe at 41 by Frog's Hair. I was just typing in sold. Government bullying tonight? Possibly. Everybody wants to know a sneak peek. <laughs> hang sneak in and peek. watch. Like Christmas. Oh, hang in there. We don't do reveals. <laughs> we just do baby reveals early on. <laughs> and maybe a, every now and then I'll put a video out. But we want you to come and watch. <laughs> Ozzy at 44 with the longbow from Australia. Going once. We need a bow. For, we need a bow and arrow, bow and arrow for for Ozzy, right? <laughs> we need a bow. You think? Or an arrow, an arrow shot. Let's see you what think? this is. Arrow. Yeah, we need something there. To, he, he can't. There's no guns in Australia. Oh, no. That's tough. I don't think I can. I always want to move to Australia. I don't think I want to now. <laughs> so you're going once to Ozzy Alchemist. My guns are in England. Go with, yes, there is. They've got things like shotguns, I think. I Going think so. twice, I think so. I think they're allowed to have shotguns and stuff. There, he's got the bow and arrow. There's Rebel Stacker knows how to steal those emojis. Three. Two. Is this going to go to Australia, Mrs. ECP? Looking that way. One. Looking that way. There's Gold Pro Unlimited. So, so the Ozzy Alchemist, congratulations, my friend, job, for 44. That's a beauty, Oz. I think you'll like that. That is pretty. Very we cool. are in the bar zone, are we not? Um, Pan America. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. These things are highly popular. Get it. There's Eric Krasnerich. I don't want to butcher that name. Welcome to the prospector Sounds level. Like you did. Oh, it's K R N. Listen, okay. K R Z N A R I C H. I bet you I'm close. I'm not even gonna try. We have 39 members now. One more, we oh get another God. ECP wow. emoji tomorrow. Thank you, guys. You guys Thank you awesome. so much, Eric. Awesome, awesome. Wow. And he did prospector level, Mrs. ECP. Fantastic. He did the one of the higher levels. He could have wow. done a simple wow. uh, Milo level for 99 cents. Yeah. What a supporter. Thank you, guys. You are registered, too, my friend. New member and registered. Eric, thank you so much. Check it out. We got another one. Jonathan Cook, welcome to Milo Lover, number 40. Yay. We get another Woo. emoji, guys. You're going to have to tell me what you think we should do for this next emoji for our channel. We need to do balloons. One Troy ounce, three nines fine, American Silver Corp. You got it. Let's just say on there, Northwest Territorial Mint. Beautiful. Look, at it's got that proof finish on it. You can see my iPad there. From the back and look at that this thing is a beautiful beautiful bar silver pan american with the prospector george martinez hey george george, george is in the house welcome ecp fanatic oh my god the highest level mrs Whoa. ecp Seriously. memberships are ripping through wow, you guys are awesome oh you guys are too, too much. much george you are Thank too you. kind my friend way too kind we do, I mean, Georgia, anything you win, we really spice up the members' packages, too. If you're a member, we spice, but we're going to spice them up even more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lurches, Coins, and Games. Welcome to Milo Leveler. Yay. Wow. Guys, look at you all four awesome. across. Look, Ms. ZCP, four oh members gosh. all the way across. You guys are awesome. We have got, we got... Eric what, started it out. You got a, we got a members train. Oh my! Our heavens. first ever <laughs> members train. I didn't know there was Woo such a train. I didn't know there was. Oh, <clears> there's a train super chat. Oh, now we okay. just got four members across the screen. Oh. We have got oh, a nice. members super oh, chat nice. train. We got Eric Kraznazic, Kraznazic. I think I pronounced it better the first time. Jonathan Cook. Oh. George Martinez. Woo. And Lurch's coins. George, Ooh, I can't believe you, you did it. Oh, Jorge, thank you. Thank Jorge you or George, depending on which way he wants to pronounce it. I've seen it done either way. Thank you so much, guys. Jorge, thank, thank you. you. George, thank you. Lurch, thank you so much. 
Jonathan Cook, thank you again. And Eric, I can't thank you guys, you guys enough thank for you. the membership train. Thank you so, so much. Way to go, peeps, says GoPro. <laughs> they are unbelievable, guys. We are we, hey, we're going on a, a membership push. There's is Eric Farms. All you new members now, try out your new emojis. You should get them shortly. Sometimes there's a little lag, but you should all be getting the new emojis you can check out now. We got the battle emoji, the ECP emoji with Milo, Mrs. ECP, little ECP. We got the weedy emoji for our penny roll hunts we do. We got the sniper emoji. We got the Canadian leaf, maple leaf emoji for when our Canadian brothers come in or we find maple in, uh, uh, coins or Canadian maple leaves on our penny hunts too. We got Milo. We got the frog hair snipe. And when we get into the Morgan zone, we got the Morgan silver dollar emoji too. So we have a lot of fun. Wait, are they already bidding on it, Mrs. Yeah, ECP? Where's the bid at for me from the members? J.R. Cawthon at 43. Going once to J.R. at 43 for that beautiful Pan Am uh, silver bar. Pan American Silver Corporation. Northwest Territorial Mimp. And it's, look, it's a proof. Beautiful, beautiful bar. One ounce. My rookie's over here stealing Mrs. ECP stuff. Going twice. We got lots of nice Morgans. Wait till you see the Morgans. It's a don't miss auction. 38 in the house. And three. Two. One. And sold, sold to JR. Congratulations, JR, for 43. 43. 43 to JR Coffin. Congrats. Congrats. That's a beautiful bar, JR. I think you're going to like it, my friend. Very nice. To JR Coffin. Congrats. We got another bar. One more. No, two more. Got two yep. more bars. Which bar is next? The Liberty. Liberty or the flag bar? It's Liberty. Oh, for Liberty bar. Liberty is next. Oh. Liberty is next. Somebody was asking about Buffalo Nickels. Yes. Look at this. How about a Buffalo bar? A one ounce okay. Buffalo Perfect. bar. You got it. United States of America. And you don't get to see this much anymore, guys. They're trying to take it out. Right. In God we trust. I don't want to take God out of our Pledge of Allegiance. United States of America, in God we trust, Liberty One Ounce Silver Bar. There you go, guys. You guys, beautiful, beautiful Liberty Bar. Right in the mix. You want to see what Mrs. ECP's I fighting? So, she's fighting with the dogs under there. Look, the dog, she's trying to get. What's he grabbing? <laughs> he got Mrs. ECP's bloomers? No. no. He's got the fox. Well, let him have the fox. It's, it's tearing up and he swallows the stuffing. Well, he'll just poop out. Uh, no, uh, Amber will kill me. What do you call it? Foam and Amber and cotton and stuff. I got it. Give him something he won't no, have to get to toy. eat. Come here. Rookies in the house. We got my daughter's golden doodle, guys and gals. Back to the auction. Oh, Liberty good. one ounce is in there. We got anybody bidding on this? What were we starting this one at? Twenty eight. Twenty eight dollar. We're starting this thing out of spot. You are. $28 starting bid, and no one's on it? Well, it's a lag. I've been selling for $40. I think, oh, think it's the big lag. I think it's lag. $34, says Ozzy. Oh, Way to go, Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. 35 for JR. Karen St. Singh got a little lag. says, okay, 28 We're at 35 for J.R. Cawthon for a beautiful, beautiful Liberty one-ounce bar. It's a looker. There's your buffalo. I like this one. This one's very simplistic. Looks good. Looks sharp. He likes it. He likes it a lot. Beautiful, beautiful coin. You got it. JR at 40. Going once to JR. Ozzy at 41. 41 with the snipe from Sir Ozzy. Wasn't a frog hair snipe, but it was a snipe. JR at 45. 45 for JR. Ozzy says out, so we'll start the countdown to once. 
And twice. Uh, Mrs. ECP fights and fusses with the dogs. Three. Two. And Jonathan Friend with the frog hair snipe at 46. That is definitely our first true frog hair snipe. I'm just punching in sold, sold. And the first real true strong frog hair sniper for the night. Holy cow. You saw it right here on the ECP channel. Frog hair snipage. He sniped it by frog's hair. Hi, nickel and dime coin hunter. Says, hello, Mr. and Mrs. ECP. Say hi to nickel and dime coin hello. hunter. Hello. JR reverses it with 47. So let's try and count it down. JR says, I'm going to corner the market on all the one ounce Which bars one tonight. That? That's the Liberty Buffalo bar. Okay, good. And JR is at 47. Gotcha. Going twice. To JR. Yes, the Saint. Read Gold Pros <laughs> Unlimited. Okay, Thanks, let me Saints. run up here. We're counting it down. I hate to do that right in the middle of the countdown. Gold Pro Unlimited. Let me look. Sweet at Dennis Stewart. Hi, you rebel. Maybe I'm missing it here. Maybe you need to type it in again. Gold Pro Unlimited. I just read King James Bible. Gold Pro Unlimited. Am I still registered to bid? So you're good, GoPro Unlimited. Yes. yes, yes, you absolutely are. You're right here on our address book, I believe, yes. too. Let's go Pro Unlimited in there in the address book. Just make sure you send my address, your address again, if you win tonight, because I've updated some of that. Yeah, you're good, GoPro. You're grow. Good. So we'll go three, two, one. And sold, sold to Jr. at 47. Nice, Jr. Congratulations, Jr. This thing's a looker, man. You're going to like this bar. He's stacking the silver guys tonight. It's He's getting all the do. silver bars. It's a great time. Yeah, I mean, many people think silver's going to go to an all-time high very, very soon. Very, very soon. And we're going to stay with the Liberty theme, guys and gals. I love these. We got a flag bar. You got it. 50 stars, 13 stripes. You got a beautiful one ounce, three nines fine. This thing's in excellent condition. Excellent condition. Silver bar. And I love these flag bars. I stack them myself. Almost put this one in my collection. That stuff's right there is on the flip. This thing's in phenomenal condition. Ozzy's at 30. He says, I'll take some of that to the great country of Australia, but JR says, hold it up, hold up. That's an American flag. It's staying here in the U.S. $40 for JR. $42 for Eric Krasnerich. Did I say that right? Krasnerich? Eric K. Eric K? There you go, Eric K. Trying to pronounce his name right. Hey, Sheree Ward. Hey, Sheree. My sister from another mother. How you doing? Girlfriend. We got a lot of good brothers and mothers and sisters and brothers and uncles and aunts and cousins and dogs and puppies. You got it. He says, close enough, laugh out loud. <laughs> Eric K was in the house. So here we got Ozzy at 44. He says, I'm going to take that American flag bar to Australia. And I'm going to put that on my Instagram page probably. <laughs> you never know. I just said that. I assume he may have an Instagram a lot of people do. ECP doesn't. You don't. No, but stacking school. stormtroopers trying to get me to get we're one. We're old school. All right, we're going to count this down to Ozzy at 44. Going once, but you know how JR likes to yeah. snipe. Mike Wolf in the house, Mrs. ECP. Oh, Mike. Jesus loves you all. Spread truth on with a $5 super chat. Oh, how yes, sweet. he does, my friend. Absolutely. Thank you so much, so and God Thank bless you. you, spread truth only. Absolutely. Absolutely. God bless you, good sir. JR at 45 with the snipe. He's bringing it on from across Australia. We might see a longbow on the way back, though. Ozzy <laughs> says he's out. Going once to JR as he corners the market on the one ounce bars. But we got one more. Wait till you see the last bar of the night. Going twice to JR. And three, two, 
one. And Jonathan Friend, oh my gosh, with the serious frog hair snipe at 46. Oh my goodness, but JR just turns around with the 47 right behind it. Oh my goodness, yes, God bless you all. Wow, what channel support tonight. You guys are unbelievable. Yes, Pinger, that was a true frog hair snipage going on there. By a frog's hair, Jonathan Friend hit 46, but our buddy J.R. Cawthon turned around and got it right back. So we're going to count it down to J.R. again at 47, going once. To J.R. going twice. Wow, Jonathan Friend, what a snipe. Three, two, one. And sold, sold to J.R. Cotham. Congratulations. Beautiful bar. JR. 47 to J.R. Now, guys and gals, this is... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Which order are we in? All right. This is the last bar of the night. The last one ounce when we had the bar zone going on. We had our barber zone. We had our walker zone. We had our merc zone, right? We did our one ounce silver bar zone, and I've never seen one of these. I think only like in a magazine or on the computer, but I hadn't seen one of these in person. Check it out. Oh my, a one troy ounce Aztec three nine spine silver bar. Oh, Eric, this is the one. If anybody's itching to get something, tell me what that means below the Aztec. That's an language i don't know <laughs> this thing is unbelievable when i got this i couldn't put it in my bag quick enough look at the detail this thing is unreal unreal thank you gold pro unlimited is this thing righteous or what now don't use that word too often we got John, is that Ozzy at 33, Jonathan at 45, <laughs> Karen St. Singh at 35, J.R. Cawthon says 47, name of the Aztec King, says Ozzy. Oh, cool. Wow. That's pretty cool. I don't want to try and pronounce that. Ozzy at 50. Man, that thing's unbelievable. I love this. I almost didn't put this in there. I almost put this in my private collection, and I said, no, I'm supposed to be here getting you guys <laughs> Neat, nice things, make my out. auction special, <laughs> and I don't. Stop outbidding yourself, says Lurch <laughs> to Ozzy. Oh, my goodness, I have to look and see. We'll take his lowest bid. One Troy ounce. Man, this thing is pretty. The the, the Aztec King's name. Who's going to pronounce I want to try to see. Kucha Tim Timok. Kucha Timok? Kucha Timok? <laughs> Hey, I don't know, but man, he's awesome that looking. Sounded good. Sounded, I can't sounded speak that Aztecian. Can't speak Aztecian. Tell you what, this is one beautiful bar. Me at 50, he says. Me at 50. I don't know if I should put the reverse up or what. JR says he's out on the Aztec bar, but as Ozzy says, I'm going to go for 50. Going once to Australia, the Aztec bar. Going across the pond, guys and gals. Aztec ruler of the Tenochtitlan of 1520 to 1521. Says oh, great ladies. Cool. I'm getting a history lesson People there are too. So knowledgeable. Guys, you guys awesome. are good. I love it. It is awesome. Learn a little bit of stuff on the ECP channel because I got such great members. Absolutely. And three, and Aunt Frey will probably tell you the low mintage on this in a second too. <laughs> One. We're gonna count it down. You already did. Sold. Oh, look at this. Jonathan Friend with a frog hair snipe. <laughs> that was a frog oh, hair. Oh, my goodness. Right that was the there. same You're time right. I punched Push it in. Oh, my but goodness. But Ozzy flips around and throws a 52 <laughs> at him. Wow. Friend was at 51. Ozzy came back at 52. Holy that cow. Right at the last that one. was a true, I mean, a very true Jonathan does the double for the night, double frog hair snipe. That's a rarity to get a frog hair snipe twice. Twice frog hair snipe. 
Oh, Pinger prospecting. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> he loves it. Split three ways, Pinger. Split three ways, my friend. Oh, we're out of focus. Let's get the focus going, and we'll get this countdown going for Ozzy Alchemist. Come on. Focus, Clark. Focus. There we go. Get a little better focus on that beautiful bar. I'm going to turn the reverse around. Let me see the reverse a little bit. Wow. Unreal. Going once to Ozzy Alchemist. Going twice to our brother from across the pond, Ozzy, 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 Alchemist. And three, two, oh, he did it again. Jonathan Friend, as I'm typing in, sold. I didn't even get the last D in. 52, but Ozzy's not messing around. He throws a Henry Von Mega, double fives, the 55. Oh my god, I gotta get well well worth the focus on that one. We gotta get a focus on that one. Wow. Beautiful. Aztec King. 55 1 Troy ounce to Ozzy Alchemist. Is Jonathan Friend gonna keep frog here sniping? He's got a three to three for. He's a three for, not a two for. A three for on the frog hair snipes tonight from Jonathan Friend. There's a focus. There's a focus. I'm not going to move it. Hey, I'm joking. Good to see you. Ozzy was already at 52. Ozzy was at 53 already. Oh, Ozzy was already at 53, so he won it. Okay, let's back up then. Hang on a second. We want to do this right. Ozzy was at 52. Okay, so we had Ozzy at 52. We're once, twice. Oh, yeah. So he said 52. You already had it. So this one, I'm sorry, Jonathan, because you should have said 53. That is sold, sold to Ozzy at 52. Nice, Ozzy. Yeah, congratulations, Ozzy. You know I'm going to do it right. Sold, sold to Ozzy at 52. Yep, you can't repeat their same bid on the snipe. No worries, Jonathan, friend. It's all good. It's all good. Sold to Ozzy, but you know, you know, ECP and Miss ECP is going to do it right. All right, Ozzie. that's why I got the best moderators on YouTube to keep us straight, Ozzie. Miss ECP. Ozzy at 52. Congratulations, Congratulations my friend. Ozzie. Didn't have to pull out your Henry Von Mega double fives, <laughs> Mrs. ECP. Look how sweet she is. Look at this, guys and gals. What nice. a great wife. Brought me some ice water, nice water. coffee at my the lofts. Life. Holy Good cow. Time. Oh, man, I needed that drink of water, Mrs. ECP. Now, guys and gals, I want to apologize because I didn't find very much round bullion. And you know we go through this bullion zone. We do bars, we do rounds. But I'll tell you this. I may not have found very much bullion. And this is the only bullion coin I got for the night. But I overdid it because... I got one heck of a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, I've never seen this before. Check out this coin. Oh my goodness. Northwest Territorial Mint. There's the Pacific Ocean, 1987. This thing's in pristine condition. I have never seen this before. Yes, ice water tonight. ECP <laughs> is water. on a diet. <laughs> I've lost three pounds. I saw myself the other day on one of my videos, and I went, oh, my, there's too much of me on the screen. So ECP's trying to watch his calorie intake. Watch my girly figure. I ain't got a girly figure. I try to get back to a girly But look at this. One Troy ounce silver trade unit, three nines fine. This thing is gorgeous. Northwest Territorial Mint. You can see... You people out west, there's Washington State, there's Oregon, there's California. Look at that. 19, this thing is gorgeous. I had not seen this before. This is one beautiful coin. Where are we at? They're already starting to bid at 30. We'll do 30. We'll start at 30. 30 will work. Man, it's gorgeous. I think you guys are really going to like Whoever wins this, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised how gorgeous this coin is. Dennis Stewart at 31. Eric at 40. Eric's going to try and 
throw the hammer down and snag this bad, beautiful coin. JR at 42. Ozzy at 43. Oh, it's gorgeous. When you see this thing in person, yeah, it really pretty. shines. It's really detailed. It doesn't, do it justice. doesn't do it justice. The camera's not doing it justice. Looks like there's a face almost there in the mountains. Look at that. That's where the mountains are up there. It's got the mountain ridges on it. And you ought to feel it. You can feel that on the coin, too. That's just... That's 3D, guys. That's not just a picture. That's actually raised up. Cool. This coin's actually raised up for those mountains. When you see this thing, you're going to go, wow, that's a special, special piece of bullion. We've got JR at 45 going once. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And going twice to JR Coffin. JR, you're going to lo love this. They are great. Saint says, go get it. I have three of them. Those are great. High relief. Um, I guess ask Saint. Saint's got three of them. He'd know. Is that a, considered a high relief, the Saint, since you got three of those? Ozzy went 46. Ozzy. You can see it. It's raised up. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's, you can feel the mountains. So it's got it. I would assume that's high relief. Man, it's gorgeous. Look at the detail. China, Philippines, Honolulu, Japan. Guys, the detail's unreal with this. British of Columbia up there. It's got Wyoming. It's got Utah. It's got the states labeled here. I don't know if y'all can see the detail, but this thing is righteous. Ozzy at 48. I'll tell you, it's one of the nicer bullion coins I've ever had. In my auction. But when you see it in person, like Mrs. ECP said, you'll see it's the real deal. Very nice. All right. Ozzy's at 48. Going once to Ozzy Alchemist. It's a butte. Did, did uh, Saint say it was high relief? Let's see if the Saint gave us an answer on that. High relief? Like, but no. Okay. So it's high relief like. That's good to know. That's why I wasn't certain. Go on twice. I just know one thing. It's, it's freaking pretty. absolutely it's gorgeous. And it's like you said, it is raised. Whatever you call that raised, and it's got the cameo look to it. It's pretty special. And we're going to count it down to Ozzy from across the pond. Three. Two. One. And... Sold, oh, sold nice. to Ozzy Alchemist at 48. Nice, Ozzy. This thing is awesome. Congratulations. That is awesome. I think you're going to really like that one, Ozzy. Mm -hmm. I really Good. think you're going to like that a lot. You guys want to do the Roman coin now? It's a giveaway. It's a giveaway time? Yep. Let's do this before, and we can do something else after the giveaway. Okay. You guys want to see if, if you guys want to do the Roman coin before or after the giveaway. <laughs> if you want to do it before the, before the giveaway, type in one. If you want to do it after the giveaway, type in two. Just that I've already said it. I know you said it. I heard if you, you want to do the Roman coin before the giveaway, type in one. If you want to do it after the giveaway, type in two. Got one, two, one, one. A 1 1.5 from Gold Pro. A 13, a two, a one. <laughs> a one. A two. Oh my God, it's like split. I get it, another one or one. Any, many, money, money. A 21 from Dennis Stewart. <laughs> Killing me. Killing me. My favorite number, 21, Dennis Stewart throws out. One and a half, two, okay. two. All right, we'll do it after the giveaway. Okay. Miss CCP said that anyways. So we're going to get it. We're going to do a Mercury Dime. If I can find them. Where's my Mercury Dimes at? Here they are. Mm. We'll do a nice Mercury Dime. Got a bunch of them. Got some nice ones. Uh-oh, I just dropped it. Milo, don't you eat that dime. <laughs> you better get it before Rookie gets it. Yeah, Rookie will eat it and Milo have to dig it out of his dog poo. Rookie. All right, guys. Look, Rookie stuck his nose up here. Let's see, what's the year on Can I even see the year on that? Let me look at the year on that dime. 1943 Mercury Dime for the giveaway. Yeah, well, it'll go in whoever's envelope with the giveaway, okay? Yep. So you got to write down a number. I hear my son-in-law. They are FaceTiming each other. FaceTiming with my daughter. 
and my daughters, my daughters, my daughters, my daughters, my son-in-law, and they're trying to see Rookie, their dog, we're babysitting. They're down in Florida right now. <laughs> we're babysitting. All right, one guess only. Wait for ECP is correct. <laughs> and we'll see how many got 41 people in here or 39 people. 39. And here's the number range. And here we go. One guess only, 20 to 40, go. Closest one without going over if they don't pick the right number. Closest to the number without going over is correct. 39 in the house. Empty Wallet, welcome. That's a new name. That's a new name. Andrew O'Neill, long time no see. William Blanchard, there's the Saint. Got some new people in. We're all having a good time. We got a lot of people in here tonight, Miss CC. I know that. That's awesome. All right, let's hit stop. See if anybody got it. I didn't even see it, but who knows? It might have went past closest without going over. So if you got twenty five, you won. If you got twenty four, you're the next close. Twenty five. Okay. So let's see who got it. Does anybody get twenty five? It's probably in here. 22, 26, 37, 27, 27, 24, 39, 22, 26, Moderators. 29, 28, 23. Nobody get 25? 34, 27, 24. Whoever had 24 first. 24 would probably be the winner. I think we got a 24. Richard at 24. Richard. So it would be Joseph Richard. Yay! Congratulations, my friend. Joseph Richard with 24. Closest with nice. ever going over. Nice Congratulations. Nice. nice patina, original patina. Yeah. Mercury dime. Congratulations, Joseph. And silver is a high. So we're doing well with that one. All right, here we go. Ancient Roman coin. Watch this. Let's see if we can get a good focus on this thing. Get my hand behind it. Which one is that? This is the, this is a, this is an add-in on the auction. Got to write it in. That's what I told you about. Ancient Roman coin. If you all know what they're what it is, you can speak up. I don't know about my ancient Roman coins besides I snagged this okay. today. Or not today, this week. Maybe or no, I think this was in my collection. I don't remember. I don't remember either. It's it's an ancient Roman coin. We're gonna start it out at one dollar. One dollar starting bid for an ancient Roman coin, guys. Think how old that is. Ancient Roman coin, one dollar starting bid. One dollar starting bid. Five from Zurich Farms. Hi, Zurich. Dennis Stewart threw the one out there. Zurich Farms. Six for Dennis Stewart. That's pretty neat. Just think of the Romans. Somebody from Roman times had that in their hands. Is that not crazy? You can see the you can see the head. You can see the the figure on there. People that know this stuff would know exactly what that is. And you know what those were like, like hammered struck, weren't they? With a hammer, they made with a hammer. You can see the deep some details on there and stuff too. The camera's just hard to pick up on something this small. It'd probably be like their their scent. Hmm. So we got Zurich Farms at seven. From cool. ancient Roman coin. Didn't we have somebody in there asking about that earlier? It was new to the chat. I don't know. I thought we did. I thought we had somebody coming in there. The daggers on the helmet. I don't know. I don't know. Let me. I can look. Let me look at the loop. Hang on. Daggers on the. Is there daggers on the helmet? You see anything? I can see the. I can see the figure. I can't tell. I don't know what I'm looking for. I see like a, <laughs> I see the helmet. It looks like it's almost like a wreath. Any glasses? I don't know. There might be daggers. I don't know. You have to take a chance at it. Don't know. I don't know. I just don't. I just, I just can't say anything for certain. It's freaking neat looking. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm looking at it under the loop. I've got my loop here. And it's it's unreal. You look at this thing; it won't show up. Look at this thing, and you can see the lettering. Yeah, a little bit. It's awesome. 
Ancient Roman coin. Let's just get her going. All right. Who's got the bid here now? Do, do, do. Eric at eight. Do, 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 do. Going once to Eric. Eight dollars. For eight dollars. For an ancient Roman coin. Can you believe that, guys? Going twice. C1 on Pawn Stars goes for a bunch of money with the helmet with daggers. I don't know. I, don't know. I wouldn't know where to look for for the daggers. You might be buying a, a coin for eight dollars is worth eight hundred. I don't know. <laughs> I just really don't know. Like I said, I got this and I don't think the dealer really knew either. And three, two, Andrew O'Neill with a snipe as I'm typing in sold at nine dollars. Andrew O'Neill with a frog hair snipe. Wow, that was close, Andrew. Very close. Nine dollars for Andrew. He sniped that one. That was by wow, frogs here, without a doubt. Going once to Andrew O'Neill. But you got to watch out. Eric might go back because he said, "Hey, ten's a good round number. I'll just go up another dollar." Hmm. He said he was itching to buy something too. Eric was going twice. It was a nice snipe by Andrew. Eric might do a reverse snipe. Sue Hatton in the house for eleven dollars. There Sue. comes a whale splashing around, Mrs. ECP. Yep. Hi, Miss Sue. Miss Sue, how you doing? Go herd. MU alumni. Andrew O'Neill at twelve. Andrew O'Neill for the ancient Roman coin. Let's let Sue get a good look at it unless she was in here lurking watching all the time. Ancient Roman coin. Mrs. ECP wants to see it now. I never even showed it to her. Up there, Mrs. ECP. She's looking at it under the loop, guys. You can't pull it out now, Mrs. ECP. Andrew Neal. I just never seen anything like that. At 12. Sue Hatton at 15. Sue's trying to just take it out from underneath everybody. Sue's at 15. For the ancient Roman coin, if I can get it back from Mrs. ECP. I was just She's not going to let you all have it back. She's like, you didn't have to put that. Think how old this is, guys. It's crazy. Think of this thing. I can't make it. Andrew at 16 for an ancient Roman coin. Just think, what if somebody like Caesar or somebody had that? Somebody like an Italian that, I mean, in the Roman times had that in their hand. Would that be kind crazy? crazy? Yeah, it really is. Where did they find Sue Hatton at 20. Back over the top. I'm sure they, they've got them from dig them collections, up. dig them up, whatever. I, you know, crazy. that's crazy. Sue's oh, at 20. Hey. Andrew's that's frowning and saying, laugh out loud. <laughs> so we're counting down to Sue for 20, going once Sue. to Miss Sue. Go herd and go Roman ancient coin. Going twice and three. Two, one, and sold, sold to yeah. Sue Hatton. Congratulations, Congratulations, Sue. What a beautiful, beautiful ancient Roman coin. $20. It is nice really snag, cool. Sue. Wait till really you see cool it. Looking. Definitely get your loop out and look at it good, Sue, when yeah, you get it. Cool You'll see, you can see some details and number numbers or lettering still in there, too. Okay. okay. I'm going to do another special one that off one. the screen. All right. Off the screen. I've got enough people in here. 35. i got to put this in, guys and gals. What is it? I've never put one in this big. First it? time ever. Crystallized silver nugget. Crystallized silver. This is over 10 grams, a third of an ounce. And these things are very fragile. They're very beautiful. This comes from the old school mining process where they'll drill holes in the side of the wall, big impact drill, and they'll place sticks of dynamite, and quite often they're drilling straight into silver ore. And you can see these the dynamite heat and pressure will blast these up against the wall and crystallize some of the silver. And you can actually see dirt and little pieces of white quartz on the back. They pry these off the walls and the floors when they're drilling into that straight silver and it gets in contact with that heat. These are very rare. This is actually not man-made. This is made through the mining process. 
old school mining, which isn't done a lot anymore, for dynamite blasting. This is in the Silver Crest Mine on the California Nevada border. This is the real deal. And you can even see little pieces of silver that's broke off in there and little pieces of the dirt and quartz where it sets. It is really cool. These things are unreal. They're specimen grade. They go very, very high. They're very, very nice. We're starting this out at $15. And trust me, they go much higher than $15. This is 10 ounces of crystallized silver. And it's unbelievable. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You need to keep it in the in the container so it keeps its blast white appearance unless you want to see purple and green and blue because they oxidize quick as a crystallized silver nugget. These things, you see the little pebbles where they've taken these off and see where they're concave, where they blast up against the wall and then they pry them off with a screwdriver and you'll see some of the little white quartz in there and the dirt. This is the real deal. This is specimen grade, guys. I've never put one in here this big. This is a, over 10 grams. Let's get the okay. let's get the scale out here, and I'll show them how much this thing weighs. This thing's the real deal. 20s of steel. I've never. I sell I sell five grammers for more than 20. <laughs> I sell five grammers for more than 20. This thing's the real deal. What record? Should have waited until Richard Davis was in here. He'd come on, look, this is 10.58 grams of beautifulness. Guys, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to own a very, very rare crystallized silver nugget. Very few people have these in their collection, especially this big. This is a third of an ounce. This is 10 grams. You know, 31.1 grams is an ounce. This is over 10 grams of silver, and it's gorgeous. Wait till you, you see this thing in person, you put a loop under it, you'll go, oh my God, because this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Ask Silver Seeker, he got one of these. This thing's the real deal. So let's see where we're at. See where we're at. I'm going to put this back in its container. Put it back in its, and they have to have an oversized gem jar just to put this it's so big this is a lot three twice as big a gem jar for this one yeah this is special remember this is made through the dynamite blasting process they don't even do that anymore this is a true crystallized yeah, it is one of a kind and they're none of them are the same it's like a snowflake they're only one of a kind you will never see it telephone bids work miss ccp got a telephone bid and we got George Martinez at 25. Wow, George. George, you're still in this one. I can promise you that. This is be the biggest steal ever on my auctions at 25. Going once. Best deal ever since I've done auctions. Going twice. Wow. This is the real deal. This is authentic. We have a crystallized silver nugget. Zeric Farms from the, the Silver Crest mine off the California Nevada border, which by the way, they're not doing anywhere. That mine is now closed. That mine is no longer open. They do not have their permits. It has been closed. It's come directly from the owner, which I know from my gold prospecting. I'm a good friend of his. And he sent me some of these out, and this came from my personal collection. This was not something I bought. I've owned this thing for years. This is out of my personalized collection. Okay. And it's a crystallized silver nugget, over 10 grams, one of a kind, specimen grade. Don't even forget about, the only reason why I tell you the 10 grams is because of how big the nugget is, but the specimen grade spot doesn't even come into it. It means nothing. It's about the rareness of this and the beauty of it and the uniqueness. You, you, if I told you what I've seen some of these sell for, you'd think I'm lying to you. But right now, this is gorgeous. Wait till you see it. No, you're not going to see it every day, and you're not going to see me put them up very often because I just had a few. I just want to do something special tonight. I'm trying to shake it up a little bit. So we've got George Martinez at 30. Andrew O'Neill at 31. 35 for George Martinez. 35 for George Martinez or Jorge, either way you want to pronounce it. It is absolutely gorgeous. 
every Tiger. silver stacker yeah. gold miner should have one of these in their collection. Come here, bud. They're absolutely phenomenal. They are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. We'll count it down to George. Going once. George, heck of a deal, my friend. You snag this one. Going twice to George Martinez. I sell these at the shows for four to five dollars a gram. Four to five dollars a gram is right off the bat. And this is a 10 grammer. So you're well below what I sell them at the shows for. Nope, wouldn't be getting any platinum nuggets. This one's actually not made. This is actually, you know, made from the mining process. And George, you got the best deal of the night. Cool. Three, two, the Saint at 36 with a frog hair snipe. <laughs> Saint likes it. But Jorge or George comes back oh. for 40 with a reverse. He says, you're not going to steal that from me, oh, Saint. That, the coin man. How you doing, the coin man? George at 40. Pinger's got it right. Pinger says, that was a frog hair snipe ECP on the crystallized silver nugget by Jorge slash George. It is nice. You have to call Blake for me. I can't take his call, sweetheart. I'll get it. We're going to count it down to George. Going once to Jorge, a.k.a. George. Going twice. You better call him right away. He keeps on calling me. Going twice to George or Jorge. Hey. Three. Yeah, on the, um, two. One and sold, sold to Jorge slash George 440. Congratulations, my friend. This thing is gorgeous. You are going to love this. Love it. When you see this, you're going to see it's one of a kind. Make sure you, if you don't want to see it oxidize and turn purple and green and brown, some people like that. If you want to keep it blast white, Make sure you keep it in this gem jar. And you can even get a new gem jar if you want because it's marked up a little bit. Because this thing's so big, it squishes down the foam and it's pressing up against the lid. You can see where it scratched the lid some. But this thing is gorgeous. And I will tape it down. Congratulations, Jorge. That thing's gorgeous. That thing's gorgeous. Let me write that down because Mrs. ECP is on the foam. I want to see if I can find another spot for that. I'm not sure where she's writing stuff at. So we'll put that down. Did she put Sue Hattons down? Did you write Sue Hattons down somewhere? Yeah, she did. George Martinez. I'm writing it on the top here. She can just figure it out. George Martinez. He's on the phone for 40 Crystallized, oh one of a kind, silver nugget. George, you're going to love this thing, my friend. Ten grammar. It's the biggest one I've ever let go out of my collection. That's the biggest one. Sold a lot of the five grammars. I've never let go of a big dog like that. Congratulations. That thing's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let's see what we got next. See what we got next. Got to figure it out. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. 1927. Let's see what everybody's saying here. Peace dollar. It's a toner. Let me look here and see what all is going on here because I got lots of people saying things here. Congratulations, George. Well, I have a question. Should I buy gold or silver for the current prices? I don't have a whole bunch of money since I'm 15 year old collector and bullion stack. Well, that's too much for me to answer, Coin Man. Not during right there in the middle of the auction, but I appreciate the question. You might want to send me an email. What did this sell for in here? Forty dollars to George Martin. I read it on the very top right, of your right, list. Look, I got you right here. Okay. Um, Good. Okay. I got his little look. I already had all right. his little envelope. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. Nineteen twenty-seven. Peace dollar. This is a toner. This thing's gorgeous. I, I picked this out just because it was so richly toned. And 27s 
are more key dates too, as you all know. But look at this thing, really good detail. Beautiful, rich patina and toning. This is nice. Very, very nice. This thing is beautiful. Uh oh. What? Puppy dogs have to go out to potty. I gotta go take him to potty. Come on. You gotta take him out to go potty. 848 tether. I'm plugging my, my, my cords. I'm having, look, Aunt Frey's giving me the, the low mintage on this. The lowest year. You got it. Dog approved peace dollar. Now, guys, pay attention because this is a hard to get a hold of in this kind of condition. Beautiful original toning. Not been clean. Not been whizzed from what I can see or tell. 1927. Low mintage peace dollar. This thing has got great detail. Great toning. Great patina. This thing's phenomenal. 1927. So don't let the starting bid fool you on the value of this coin if you know the ECP auctions. This thing is unreal. We're going to start this thing out at $36, believe it or not. $36. Be a Philadelphia Mint. There's no Jonathan Friend. Low mintage, beautiful, original patina piece dollar. And there's no mint mark, so it'd be a Philly. This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If you need a 27, if you're a numistatist, this is a find. Very low mintage, guys and gals, a 27. Not no 22, not no 23. These things are hard to get a hold of. We got Eric at 50. Uncle Shane at 52. Now, Uncle Shane knows his coins, guys and gals. So does Eric. This is a valuable coin. George Martinez, have a great night. I'll take care of you, that nugget. I'm glad you got it, George. I really am, Jorge. Thank you so much for everything, and thank you for that $5 super chat, my friend, to support the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Eric K. at 55. He's got the Henry Von Mega spot. Second least minted from what I can see, says Great Lakes Silver Stacker. Yes, we do try to get the harder to find piece and Morgan dollars. We're getting into the meat of our auction now. We're getting into the pieces and the Morgans. And I told you, don't miss this auction. I don't blow smoke at you to tell you whether you want to miss this or not. This is a don't miss auction. Eric K at 57. Uncle Shane at 60. This is a beautiful coin, guys and gals. I have no, no inclination of a cleaning or a whizzing. It's a true patina, lots of detail, 1927, beautiful piece. Star. Look at the feathers, guys and gals, and it's nicely toned, which really adds some value because it's beautifully toned. This is how the, the piece dollars really tone up, and it's gorgeous. So you got Uncle Shane was at 60, Eric K at 61 for the second lowest minted piece dollar, 1927P. What would you say was the mintage again, Aunt Frey? How low was it, Aunt Frey? Uncle Shane at 62. Uncle and niece's treasury at 62. Guys, we got a battle. 848,000. Didn't even mint a million of them. Guys, we have got Mrs. ECP's going, Shane! Shane! She hears you from walking back in the house, walking the dogs. Wow. Got a big battle going here tonight on the ECP channel. Between Uncle Shay and Eric K. They're battling it out. So we're going to try to count this down to Uncle Shane at 62. Going once to Uncle Shane. He knows how I start these low. Quite often, guys, I start these well below my cost. Take my chances. Trust me, I've lost before. Going twice. And we got... Eric K. with a snipe at 63. Jim Brown, need to get you registered at 65, but you got to get registered. So our next bid is Uncle Shane at 64. Moderators will tell you how to register, Jim Brown. New to the channel, you are more than welcome, my friend, but we got to get Jim Brown registered. We got Uncle Shane at 64. Uncle Shane, it can stay at 64 because I don't think there was a bid after that because right now, Jim either needs to send a $1 super chat, he can do a $1 membership, it's only 99 cents. 
Uh, either one dollar super chat, one dollar membership, either one. So we got Uncle Shane at sixty four. Uncle Shane's at Christmas, Tony. Okay. Check in. No, honey, unplugged everything. I'm gonna lose the channel. Quick, rookie. <laughs> my dogs are unplugging my cords, trying to walk back and forth. All right, you can do a one dollar super chat, a one dollar PayPal, Mrs. EC2. I have to check PayPal. Or you can do a 99 cent Milo membership. There we go. Tay Jones, you're a good man, my friend. Thank you very much. So we'll go once to Uncle Shane at 64. So we still had Eric K in there. Going twice. The newbies come in here and they see these bids on these hot low end. Low mintage, beautiful coins. I'm gonna bid on that. It's like, oh, we got to get you registered. Eric K says I yield. Shane. Eric K yielded to Shane though. In three, two, one. Jonathan Friend. Oh my goodness! The snipe goes on again from Jonathan, but Uncle Shane does a reverse pivot. At 66, Jeff Brown right behind him at 66. You got it, Pinger. Frog hair snipage in the house. We got Uncle Shane at 66 now. Holy cow. You guys are giving Jim Brown time to register, too. And he might jump back in for this beautiful low mintage piece. Everybody's hearing about this when we got people jumping in the mix. Cool. When they see this one, Mrs. ECP. Cool. Going once. To Shane at 66. He's got the Henry Von Mega double number, double, double number. Beautiful, low mintage, what, 800 some thousand minted. 1927 piece dollar. Really has nice details, beautiful toning. This is a buy, guys, in a heartbeat. Jeff Brown at 67. We got a battle, guys. It keeps going back and forth. We're not getting a chance to knock these out. We got Uncle Shane at 70. Shane and the niece's treasury at 70. The uncle is taking the hold of the house. He said, this piece dollar is mine. It's going south, ECP. Going once to my friendly uncle at 70. Going twice. And we got a snipe from Jeff Brown at 72. Snipers in the house. We got a, a sniper battle going on, Mrs. ECP. A snipe fest, she says. <laughs> but Uncle Shane keeps on that. Uncle Shane's on one foot, reverse pivoting with his rifle, 73. He gets him right away. He didn't even wait for a chance. He says, listen, I'm not going to take a chance on a snipe on this. I'm going right back at you. This puppy's going home with me. The beautiful lady, Jeff Brown at 75. 70. Jeff's not messing around, Mrs. ECP. And double sevens from Uncle Shane. Henry Von Mega, double number pull out of the pocket. Here he goes. We got our first real battle going on. We have got a battle royale. This is our true slugfest right here, guys. Uncle Shane at 77. Going once. Slugging it out between Shane and Jeff. Man, they're fighting it out. It is a battle. No mint mark. No good, sir. You'd like to see it up close. We'll show it to you good and close. Nice original patina. Doesn't appear to have any whizzing or, or any kind of cleaning nice detail you flip it over i see no mint mark that's what i see i can let me double check it with my loop just to make sure that i cannot see any kind of mint mark on here i cannot see a mint mark on here i know where to look for that too no no mint mark do not see it by the tail Do not see a mint mark. Marla, you've already been out. It's Quit. gorgeous. 
Don't see a mint mark anywhere you unless it's in a it? different spot that you I see normally on peace dollars. But you look for it yourself. I want you to be the judge. I give you a close up on the, both the front. As close as I get with, oh, there it is. Look at that coin. Look how gorgeous that coin is. And here's the reverse. You ain't get that kind of view on Stormy's channel, do you? <laughs> you don't. He keeps them back too far. Look at that. Beautiful coin. Okay. Beautiful coin. Shane. They're fighting it over. Oh, Uncle, Uncle Shane. Shane. Jeff Brown says 78. Uncle Anissa's treasury, 89. 89 for Uncle Shane. Oh, he just he's doing like a body slam. He's like, ECP, thanks for the close-up view. Slam, 89. <laughs> Holy cow. Let's see if we're going to count that down if Jeff's going to jump in there or not. Going once. Boom. Body slam, says Pinger Prospecting. Jeff Brown says, out. Tip of the hat to you, good sir. He's a good sir for sure. Both of you are. You're both wonderful, and I want to thank you both so much. Going twice. And three, two, one to a beautiful 1927 Peace Dollar Low Mintage. Congratulations. And, oh my what? gosh, Jonathan Friend, 90 I'm for just, Jonathan Friend. I know you were packaging it up. She's writing, I just getting ready to put it in your Made Shana bag. <laughs> Look at this. Mrs. ECP had Shana bag made already. I already wrote it in the book. I already wrote okay. it in the book. She's, right. we'll she's whitening out. it out. But Uncle Shane says 91. 91. You don't have to wipe it out yet and see if he might still win it. That was a close one. Oh, my goodness, guys. That is a serious, serious frog hair snipe. Oh, um, I mean, my finger was right there on the sole button getting ready to punch it. I already got it in the double sole. That was a unbelievable frog hair snipes, Jonathan Friend. Unbelievable. Man, you, you blew me away on that one. Wow. That was a serious frog here. We got Uncle Shane at 91. Going once. You think Jonathan's going to try and do that I again? Know, I'm I'm gonna... He's Jonathan, you're giving me heart, heart arrhythmia. Man. <laughs> I have heart arrhythmia well, from Jonathan Friend. Oh my gosh, you did it. <laughs> what? It's his, says Jonathan Friend. He gets it. <laughs> Three. Two, I don't think I can handle another one of those. One, <laughs> and sold, sold to Jonathan Friend. Oh, look what he did. He says it's yours, and then he did it. But Jonathan missed the frog hair snipe with sold, sold. So it goes to shame. It goes to shame for 91. Yay, Got to go by my screen. Well, Shane already Shane, you got it for so 91. She's already got the bag made for you. Yay. Jonathan Friend, good job, my friend. Nice battle. Uncle Shane threw a 93 even behind it. Nice battle. So you got it. 91. Solid win. Great cool. Lakes says. That was an awesome battle. Dang, it was nice. That's a beautiful coin, guys. I'm telling you, ECP's trying to deliver here. What we got next? 1934. Oh, my. Another, another hard-to-find piece. 1934D. You got it. A 34D. And it's got a little bit of wear, but still some really good details. Wear on the high points, you know. Got cool. some circulation marks. But a 1934D, Aunt Frail's throw up. So you can see the wear on the high marks. But she'll tell you, uh, Aunt Frail tell you, he. he, what the mintage is on a 1934D. Beautiful, nice piece dollar, 34D. Circulated condition, but still got some nice detail. 1934D. What are we starting at, Mrs. ECP? $36. $36 starting bid. We're starting them low. $36 starting bid for a 1934D. One of the harder, the harder years to get. They didn't make a lot in those early 40s. 1934D. Yeah, that was a wonderful battle, wasn't it? Let's see if I I think my chat stopped on my screen. Hang on. I know, that's not good. Nope, we're going to look and see where we're at. Are we frozen? Uh-oh. Nope, we're still good. Great Lakes Silver Stack at 36. Okay. Thought I got froze there for a second. It froze on my phone, I can tell you that much. My phone got frozen. 30, 
six for Great Lakes Silver Stacker. It's not a golden See the front again, says What's Uncle Shane. Yeah, it's got a golden tone, a golden patina to it. That's what peace dollars do that a lot. It's got like a golden toning to it. It's got some wear there on the high marks there, Shane. You know, you got a few circulation marks on it. But overall, in really good condition. You know, these peace dollars got used a lot. Got some wear right there on the legs. I'll give you some different angles so you can see. But you got a nice, nice patina still on there. You don't see any kind of cleaning marks. You, know, you see circulation marks, but you don't see any whizzing. Looks like it's going on. It's got a lot of still patina on there. It's got a golden tone to it. Let's see it there with it. It's a nice coin, 1934D piece. 1934D. Got Great Lakes Silver Stacker at 36. One and a half million, 1.569 and 500. It says Pinger Prospecting. Still. Mm -hmm. A 1934D piece dollar. Still one of the lower mintages, guys. Eric says, thanks, 37 for Eric. Eric got a good look at that. He got to see the low mintage. It has a double die verse on some of them. Oh, okay, it's good to know. I didn't really look at it for a double die. Did you see it on there when I showed it to you? No need to look at it again. Uncle Shane knows his coins. So we're going to count this down to Eric K. We're going to get it cheap, Eric. Going once for 37 for 1934D, 1.5 million mintage. That's a low mintage for peace dollars. This is not 1922 or 23. Going twice. The 34s are harder to find. Denver Mint Mark to Eric K for 37. And three, two, one, as Mrs. ECP gets into the dishes. Jonathan Friend with the snipe again. 38 right behind the Saint at 38. Oh, my. Double snipage action. So we'll go with Jonathan Friend on that one at 38. Ah, wow, that was heartless there. Eric K., I thought that was in the bag for you, my friend. I had it typed, getting ready to punch in sold. A double sold. Jeff Brown at 40. 40 for Jeff Brown for the 1.5 million minted 1934 Denver Peace Dollar from Jeff Brown. Eric K. at 41. 41 for Eric K. In the house. The Saint right behind him with a little bit of a lag. At 41. So, guys, I'm not trying to draw it out too much, but we got a pretty good lag going. So, throw your bids in here tonight so you don't get losing out by getting a frog here sniping and losing out on it. So, Jeff Brown at 45. You got a pinger. It stepped up. You got a four or five way battle here. The battle has begun. They are going at this 34D peace dollar. Wow. Jeff Brown at 45. Eric K at 50. He throws down a sledgehammer. 50. A $5 pop. Eric at 50. Go once to Eric at 50. The saint says, I'm out of here. Going twice to Eric at 50. Jeff Brown at 51 with the snipey Jackson. Holy cow. 51. For Jeff Brown, and we got Jim Brown in there. Did Jim Brown get registered, guys and gals? Jim Brown, did you get registered, my friend? Did I miss a registration? Uh, moderators, let me know. I got one of these ECP two weeks ago, and it is a beauty, says Jonathan Friend. Good, good. Good, I'm glad you like it. I always make sure everybody has. Is the mint mark small or large? Let's look and see. Good question. And the moderators figure out Jim Brown for me if you don't care. It looks, uh, you tell me, it looks small. The D's right there. It, very prominent, though. Mm -hmm. Look at it here, Shane.
You know what, Shane? I don't know if that would be considered large or small. My guess is small, but I don't know. I don't know if I can show it through the thing. I don't know if you can see the relativeness through the loop. I think I can get a focus on it. I need to invest in a coin scope. I'm not sure. I can't give you an honest answer on that. I'll give you as good of views as you can judge for yourself, my friend. See if I can get you a good. There we go. You tell me what you think that's large or small. D mint mark. I don't know. Like I said, we started her very low. And I apologize. I do not know if it's large or small. Pinger says he thinks it's small. That's what my thought is. I just don't want to make any guarantees. Uh, thank you. So where are we at on the bidding? So we got there. We got Jeff Brown at 51. Is Jim Brown registered? Jim Brown, did you register, my friend? Jeff Brown at 55. Doesn't matter at that point. Jim is good, says Pinger Prospecting. Okay. You're golden, my friend. If Panger says you're good, that's all I need to hear. So, Jim Brown, you are free to bid, my friend. You are free. Guys, if you want to do a 99-cent membership, it clears it up real quick for 99 cents, and that's good from here on out. Once you become a member, you're good to bid on and on and on. So, ECP, Cherry Ward says, Cherry Ward says, I'll vouch. Okay, that sounds good. Sounds good. Jess wife, Jim. Gotcha. Gotcha. So where are we at? We got Jeff Brown at 55, right? So Jeff is good. Going once to Jeff Brown. Going twice to Jeff Brown at 55. And three, two, one, and Sold, sold to Jeff Brown and Jim Brown. You are good, or Jim? Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown won it for fifty-five. Thank you. You got it. And All Jim right. is good to bid now too. Okay. So got that cleared up. Congratulations. Sorry for the confusion, guys. You know I'm old and forgetful and can't remember half of everything. So nice. Jeff Brown at fifty-five. Congratulations. Yeah. What we got next, Mrs. ECP? Uh, 1934. Oh, we're on the peace dollar zone. Is this yeah. the last one? No. We got two more. Uh, yep, two more peace dollars. Look at this one. Check it out, Shane. Check this out. 1934. Be a P. But look at the Tony. God, this is gorgeous. You know these are after my heart when they look like this. Man, I love the coins when they're like this. No mint mark. Okay. So it's a Philly. 1934. Great Lakes says 954,000 minted. These are the low mintage pieces of ECP snagged. Talking about myself in the third person. CM Silver was in here. She's a sweetie. 954,057 made. And I'll tell you what, she is a sweetie. She's gorgeous. What are we going to start her at, Mrs. ECP? 36. $36 starting bid. Eric K says 50. Go well, he just him. changed that real quick. <laughs> we'll go Eric him. says, 50. He knows we start him low. We'll go, Eric. He just jumped in there and says, I'm going to snag one of these tonight. Has Eric K. gotten him something yet? Not yet. Man, he sure he's as heck tried. It. He's working on it. They're going to let Eric K. have one tonight. Sure. He's working on it. No, he's trying, man. Eric, I want to see you get one, my friend. He's a new member. Saint at 51. Nice saint. Man, that's a beautiful coin, guys and gals. Wow. Very nice. I'm very in love that rich patina. 52 for Eric K. I should do a fast countdown just so you could have one, but everybody get mad at me, wouldn't they? That's They'd okay. strangle me. That wouldn't be fair, <laughs> would it? Fair. 55 for J.R. Coffin. Yeah. yeah, they'd all leave my channel and say, I ain't not going to stay on ECP's auctions no more. Because he cheating. cheated. He cheated for somebody. <laughs> he cheating. Yeah, I just thought, here we go. JR's at 55. He's got the Henry Von Mega double nickels. He's taking Henry's place while he's in Vegas. Beautiful 34D. And I hope you guys are appreciating me 
dig and fight and scratch and trying to get these nice piece dollars, these this low mintage. Nope, 1934 P. Okay. Philly. I thought you said Eric K. at 57. Going once to Eric K. with a legitimate countdown. Yep. I'm not going to fast count it, Mrs. ECP. She's giving me a dirty look. To Eric K. for 57. Going twice to Eric K. Watch out, Eric K. They got a lot of snipers for the 34D. <laughs> you got to be careful. So we got about a six-second lag, or is it even longer than that now? Oh, man. All right, so we go three, two, one. Oh, Jonathan Friend. Nice Again, snipe. snipage. Frog hair snipe I'm gonna use that from a Jonathan. Nice. Jonathan is the ultimate frog hair <laughs> sniper tonight. He's got it timed down to right almost to perfection. End. There you go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow, my finger was on the trigger, Eric K. And you know what Jonathan just said? Somebody say frog hair? <laughs> Snipage. Oh, my God. He is a shooter. Is he not, Finger? Is he not a shooter? To Jonathan Friend going once. To the snow Sniper Extraordinaire. Jonathan Friend... Won anything with all oh, these yeah, frog hair snipes? Trying. Everybody's just got him back, he's haven't trying. they? Going twice to Jonathan Friend. Now, this might it's be the Eric one. K's chance to snipe him back this or Jonathan get his man. first win. Neither of them snags anything tonight. So, we're going to get a first-timer tonight yeah, with this we one. Are. First -timer. There we go. We're going to count it down. Three. Two. One. And sold, sold to Jonathan Friend. Got his first win tonight. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jonathan Friend 50. at 58. Eight. Wow, for yeah. a beautiful 1934 piece dollar. Things richly toned. I love the toning on that one. Absolutely love it. Now, you guys saw the 1935D, right? How about a 1935 P? For Philly, 1935D. Look what? at this one. No, no P, as mm -hmm. in Philly. Nothing. Right. It should just say 1935. What do you see? Let me look at something here. Is there a mark down below that wing? Make sure this dealer's got this one labeled right. Yeah, no mint mark. No mint mark on this. I'm double checking. I was looking there. I thought I saw a mint mark for a second. Man, this coin looks good under the Just loop. Got a lot of detail in the wing still. Nice looking piece dollar. Nicely toned. Circulated, of course. They got a lot of good detail. Nice 1935. We did a Denver. This is a 1935 P Philly. No mint mark. It's a Philly. Get you, let you get a good look at this thing. It's, it's worth showing off. Nice patina. Nice looking coin. Original surfaces, in my opinion. If I see that they've been whizzed or cleaned, you know, I, I, I just pass on them, guys. And you'll see a lot of those in auctions. I'm not knocking the other auctions, but I got enough numismatists in me that I'm pulling out good looking coins from reputable dealers. So this thing's got a nice, nice original patina, nice toning to it. It's got some, still got some really good detail for a 35. I like it. I put this in my own collection. 1935. Got 1.576 million minted, says Great Lakes Silver Stacker. Pretty neat. And this one to do this one for what? 36. $36 starting bid. $36 starting bid, just like the others. 1935. 36. 1935 toner. Philly. A Philly toner. 38 for Great Lakes Silver Stacker. 38 for GL. Carl's Coins in the house, Mrs. ECP. Hi, for 40 for the 1.5. Constitutional King, says the saint. Well, thank you, good <laughs> sir. I appreciate that compliment. You just made my yes. night, my friend. Yes. Got any gold coins or bars in your auctions, mm -hmm. Jonathan, friend? We might have something a little better, my friend. We got an original gold nugget. Harder to find than gold coins or gold bars because... Gold in its natural state is less than 1% of the gold, and this is a 
0.91, almost a full gram, Alaska gold nugget. You got it. Alaska gold nugget. My buddy went up there on a trip and brought this back. It is gorgeous. And we'll show it off a little bit more. So we do have some gold, and it is a gold nugget. Yes, Pinger likes that. Nice, says Pinger. Nice. 46 for the Saint. I'm trying to count it down to my good friend the Saint. Going once. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they, Jonathan? And one gram. You need to add that to it, Jonathan. So you'd have a one gram, a two gram, and a three grammer. Going twice. That's the most popular gram is the one grammers. Anything closer, just a little over one gram. Going twice to the Saint for 46 for 1.5 million mintage, 1935 piece dollar. Saint, you might get one of the better buys of the night right here, my friend. And three. And two. One. And sold, sold to the Saint for 46. Congratulations, my friend. What a great deal. Beautiful coin, too. Right, strong strike on that 35. Strong, strong strike. Good feathers, yep. There was some details still in 46. Let me write it down. Mrs. ECP left me. So I gotta, I gotta write this down myself. 46 to the saint. I'll leave it laying here for a while. Right here. Let me well, let me do this. Let me just go ahead and put it in a bag so we don't have any problems because I don't want to see somebody get the wrong coin sent to them. The wrong coin doesn't need to go somewhere it doesn't belong, right? It was a saint. So she'll see that. She had to run back there and help my daughter with something. All right, let's see what's next on the list. Let me see. Oh, we got a nice. It's the Morgan Zone, guys. That was the last piece dollar. What you guys have been waiting for. Got some, just like the pieces, we got some nice Morgans. Here we go. Check it out. 1880. Look at this, Morgan, guys. Look at the detail. Wow. Wow, it is circulated, but man, it is beauty. You can see some wear on the high points there on the breast feathers a little bit. Right? But this is a strong coin. Very strong coin. Very, very nice. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. Beautiful. 1880 Morgan Silver Dollar. That is very nice. Gotta go to work very soon. We'll send my after I'll ship it. That sounds good, Ozzy. I appreciate it, my friend. And thank you for that uh, extra money for the shipping uh, last time because I think I insured that it was like 27 or something. But that's, I got it covered for you. I appreciate it. But thank you very much. So I didn't, can't imagine that Australian shippings went up that much. It's kind of ridiculous. But thank you very much. Let's see what we're starting this 1880 Morgan at. Oh, we're going to start it low for this detail. 38 $38 starting bid. From the Constitutional King. $38 for a beautiful Morgan. Carl's Coin says, I'll snag at that for $38. That lovely lady. Nice looking Morgan. $1880. So what's that make her? 100 years plus 20. 140 years old. Are you kidding me? Focus, Clark. Focus. 140 years old. 38. Thank you, Jonathan, friend. Joseph Richard at 40. Ozzy at 40 before he gets off of work. So I'm going to try and add another one. So I got to pay that shipping to Australia. I better get that bag filled up. We got some real lookers coming, Ozzy, if you want to sneak off on your work break. Some beauties tonight. Carl's Coins at 42. They're all beauties, but I'm getting this gets bigger and better, you know, as each one goes on. 45 for Eric K. JR at 46. 46 for JR. JR is trying to corner the market today, Mrs. ECP. I know who's the big one. Oh, he's going to be the big winner. We're going to have to send him some honey. I don't know. <laughs> JR, you want, if you end up being the big winner, do we send the big winner some honey like I we did know. last week? We did Steph last week. We did Steph, didn't we? I got my mentor's honey. I don't have my own. Oh. Okay. Morgan Zone from Panger Prospecting. Finger Prospecting's got the Morgans up there. Ozzy at 47. 
47 from Ozzy Alchemist for the 1880. And I did the piece and the Saint Thank won you. it. I got it. And I put it in the bag. Yes, I, I did it. all Thank that you. good stuff. Thank you. Ozzy at 47 in the Morgan Zone for a beautiful 1880. Going once. 240 year old wow. coin. 140 years old. Think how old crazy. that is. It's crazy. crazy. Going twice to Ozzy Alchemist. The Morgan lady may go across the pond, Mrs. ECP. Mm -hmm. And three, two, J.R. Cawthorn with the snipe at 48. He even beat out Jonathan Friend. <laughs> Just as we're typing in the double slow, Pinger Prospecting's got this down there. He's, He's on got, top of us. <laughs> he has got the sniper emoji, the Morgan emoji, the frog hair snipe. He said snipe on the Morgan with a frog hair. Good job, Pinger. Ozzy at 50. Ozzy said, I got to go to work. I'm going to throw 50 <laughs> markets, you guys. Ozzy's like, come on. Y'all quit bidding <laughs> on that thing. This thing needs to go across the pond. Going once to Ozzy Alchemist at 50. Go on twice to my friend from across the pond, Ozzy Alchemist at 50. I'm going to count it down. Three and two and one and sold, sold to Ozzy Alchemist for $50. Job, Congratulations, Congratulations, Ozzy. Way to snag it. Solid. Right there before he headed Beautiful. out. Beautiful. Ended out the door. Put that in Ozzy's bag. Right what we got down. next on this one? Well, you know, he's probably hanging in there as long as he can. Oh, this slide <laughs> one slide down. Oh, this is not an easy stay. Oh, this coin's really pretty. Okay. Is, 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 is Director of Awesome still in the house? What? DOA leave? DOA goes nuts for these. What is that? Yeah, I thought about this one with DOA when I bought it. He's probably not even in here. Look at this. I call this a steel gray patina. Look at the fields. Look at Uncle Shane. Look at this coin for a circulated coin. Look at the fields and the cheek, my friend. 1904. O mint mark. Strong strike. Steel gray. Look at this DOA. When I bought this, I thought of you, my friend. I said DOA would love this coin. 1904 Morgan. Ozzy's at 38. Look, low mintage, 3,720,000. Oh, <laughs> Ozzy's still hanging in there. He's, he's right there by the time clock. He's <laughs> on the time clock with his phone trying to <laughs> snag some more coinage. He says ECP's got some quality stuff in this don't miss auction. Man, it's gorgeous. 44 for Ozzy. JR was at 40. Carl's at 45. Guys, this, I love this coin. This, this, I would put this in my collection. Wouldn't even hesitate. Look at that. Steel gray patina. Nicely, evenly toned. That's an O mint. And New Orleans mint. Look at that liberty. Look at the hair and the details. Look how clean the cheeks and the fields are. It's a pretty righteous coin. <laughs> pretty, pretty sweet. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Where are we at? Joseph Richard at 50. At 50 for a low mintage Morgan 19040. Going once. Man, this thing's nice. Five minutes, says Ozzy. Get to the next one, son. <laughs> Going twice to Joseph Richard. Joseph knows his quality coins, I can tell you that. And three, two, it is a nice one. You know why. And I've, I've had a nice one in there before. It probably was you that got it. And sold, sold to Joseph Richard. Great snag, nice. my friend. Beautiful coin. Great coin, great price. Wait till you see this thing, Joseph Richard. Oh, listen. Very nice. If my Very wife nice. gets mad at me because I spend so much time... <laughs> On Saturday mornings, on Thursday nights, I meet people who are just trying to get stuff. I usually hit three to four places to get these. These ain't coming from just one place. What we got? 18. All right, here we go. This is something different. I've never had one. I believe one of these dates or mint marks. 1879S. This is the one Shane probably doesn't have. 
1879 S <laughs> Morgan Silver Dollar. I do. I try to get dates and coins I haven't got. Nice coin, nicely toned. You can tell it's original. Look at the mint mark on that. There we go. Nice S strong strike. Lots of detail still. Not been cleaned or whizzed. You can see because it's got the toning. It's got some tone marks on it. Not been buffed or whizzed. This thing looks really original surfaces. Nice original patina. This thing's nice. 1879 S. Is that a seven tail feather eagle? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It appears to be. I see seven. That's what I'm looking at. Man, it is nice though. I tell you what, I like this coin. I like that S mint mark too. It's circulated, but it's nicely toned. Good run. I mean, remember, it keeps the value is the fact that somebody hadn't taken a buffing wheel and whizzed the heck out of it, you know? And you see these toning marks and stuff, it shows it's authentic. And the numismatists, all these guys in here bidding like this, they know that. They're not seeing these ones that get thrown up into auctions that are whizzed all to get out and that they, they don't have their original surface anymore. That really ruins the value of a coin. You want to see these ones that have a ditch, deep, rich toning and original patina. Uncle Shane at 60. JR at 62 for an 1879 S. S mint mark. 1879 S. Don't miss this auction. Uncle Shane at 63. Got to go. Have fun. Cheers, ECP. Later, everyone. Thank you, Ozzy. Thank you, Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy. Thanks, Ozzy. We appreciate you. You are the man, Ozzy. Super moderator. JR says he's out. Uh, Uncle Shane's at 63. Going once. Had a nice little battle going on there, didn't we, Pinger? <laughs> Can you show the back of the coin again? Sure. Be glad to, Carl's Coins. Anything for you, good sir. Let's see if I can get you a good focus on it. There we go. How's that? Got some good detail. Some, there's some wear on the breast feathers there on the high points, but there's still a lot of breast feathers there. Still a lot, you know. Look at that. You can see it. It's got. A, it's still got some feather marks from there. You can see the tail feathers real strong. Still a lot of good detail. On this coin. To be old. Yeah, be the 1879, 141 years old, yeah. San Francisco mint mark. Nice original patina. Doesn't appear to be cleaned or whizzed or wiped or anything like that. Beautiful coin. Very, very nice. Now, you're welcome, Carl. Anytime. 79 S has two reverses. So you guys are good. You keep peep up on these and stuff. Uncle Shane, we go gone once. We're going twice. Is this Uncle Shane? Oh, we got JR at 65 as we're typing in twice. JR at 65. Uncle Shane was at 63 when we started the countdown. We got a question. Uncle Shane's at 66. Three reverses, says Great Lake Silver Stacker. These guys know their stuff on these more than pieces. Stuff, yeah. Like ECP, keep bringing them in. Yeah. We'll figure out <laughs> exactly you. what you got. I'll tell you exactly. I know you know. I know enough to be dangerous <laughs> as an investitist. But these guys are at a different they level in my stuff. auction. Yeah, yeah they're at a different stuff. level than I am. They know. They said like a lot of times I I put a coin up and go, oh my gosh, what happened? So well, yeah, that's a double die reverse spinning eagle <laughs> that has a reverse arrow coming through his butt. You know, it's like what. <laughs> You know, I've seen Henry do that and Shane do that to me. It's like, guys, you know, you guys are going above my level. I mean, I know what you I know like. Morgan. Listen, I know what I like, and I know what I'm, I know enough. Like, see, the, the Vams and stuff are so much to keep up with Vams, which are the air coins and different things. There's a lot to keep up with it. Okay, so we got Uncle Shane at 66. Aunt Frey says, "Can I see the reverse?" We just showed it, Aunt Frey. Where were you at? He wants to see again. All right, I mean, Uncle Shane's probably getting angry. He's probably saying. I keep trying to count win this down. thing. There's your reverse. Count it down. All right. All right. Count it down. Count it down to Uncle Shane. Uncle Shane. Count it down. 66. And. Going once. To Uncle Shane. Going twice. At 66. 
for Uncle Shane. If somebody wants this, now's your chance to Uncle try Shane and knock says, out the uncle. Uncle Shane says, Three, sell it. Two, yeah, sell it already, ECP. <laughs> One, and sold, sold Yay. to Uncle Shane. Congratulations, my friend. There we go. 66. Good wow. Job. Whew, that one wore me out. There's lots of questions. They were checking that one out, seeing what that one's coming out. Okay, 1881. 1881 O toner. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh. Ooh, what? I can't do that one yet. What? Okay. Don't you fix that one. Go to the next one. All right, skip it down. Oh, wait, is that what I had next? Was that, That's out of order, isn't it? No, 1884. 1884 O. Okay. See, we might still have DOA in here. Here's the one we're supposed to have up next. For people that like the blast white, 1884-0. Oh. 1884-0, oh. still great detail. 1884, I'm going to get a good focus on that reverse. Let's get that O mint mark, there it is. 1884-0 oh, mint mark, guys and gals. Beautiful coin. You can see some breast feathers, there you go, there's your breast feathers. There's your breath feathers. 9,730,000. There's your breath feathers. 1884.0. Oh, I had to have Mrs. ECP squeeze down the staples on that other one. So we put it in the back. There's your good view on it. Good view. You can see some of the, the bag marks, circulation marks. Beautiful New Orleans mint. Pretty, pretty blast white coin. Beautiful blast. Well, just a little bit of something for everybody. Not everybody likes the toners. A lot of people like the blast whites. You love the toners. I like them all. 1881 started out at $38. I guess we're staying with the $38 theme tonight, guys and gals. Thirty. No matter how much detail, what the coin is, whether it's 140 years old or a New Orleans Mint or an S Mint mark, just like that, uh, just go 38 Uncle Shane says, I have that one. Oh. Of course you do. You should. <laughs> JR at 38. JR says, I don't, or I'll need it, or I'd like to have it. So JR at 38 for an 1884 Blast White Morgan. Carl's Coins at oh. 40. I bring it to all the auctions, says Pringer Prospecting. Oh. You do, my good friend. JR at 45. You know what the best thing about having a golden doodle in your house? They're a great foot warmer. They lay on your oh feet. my God. <laughs> my feet are cold and this dog is warming them up. Whew, check this out. He just this is Mr. E Miss e P ECP and Mrs. ECP's foot warmer. The Golden Doodle foot warmer. It stays right yeah, it stays right there with us. There's a good focus. I'm glad I did that. Well, there you go. There we go. 1884.0. JR at 45. I'm building a sniper nest. Watch out, says Eric K. <laughs> Uh-oh. Eric K is getting on the sniper perch, guys. Y'all better watch out. Sounds like that's a call out to me. <laughs> Going once to JR. Somebody's getting called out, Mrs. ECP. I hear it. Going twice. So watch out, JR. Eric K is building a sniper nest. We have to counterattack that, Eric, says J.R. Cawthon. <laughs> 47 with the snipe from J.R. He oh. was building a sniper nest. He got a frog hair sniper going on, but J.R. is a reverse snipe at 50. Right back at the sniper. Eric was at 50, J.R., I mean 47, and J.R. came back right away with a repeat reverse at 50. Pinger says, it's the Morgan snipe. <laughs> Morgan snipers tonight. I love these emojis. And I get another emoji to pick tomorrow. I know. You're so excited. I'm excited. We went over 40 <laughs> members and we get another emoji. You so everybody to check in next Thursday to see what the new emoji is on the ECP channel. Me and Mrs. ECP I have to think about that one a lot. <laughs> we'll count this down to JR going once. Watch out. They're working on those sniper perches. The, the sniper nest. There you go. Going twice. Congratulations, ECP. Well, thank you, Cherie Ward. That means the world to me. The members are falling in line. We do the cheapest memberships on YouTube. 99 cents. Even though we have quite a few ECP fanatics, and <laughs> we have quite a few ECP prospectors, 
and we have some Numistatus. We have all the different levels there. So we're going to count it down to JR3, 2, 1. Oh, the ultimate frog hair sniper king, Jonathan Friend with a 51 snipe. <laughs> This guy has pulled out more frog does. hair yes, snipes he than anyone else. He's got the Tommy down to perfection. I think he's only missed one tonight. Only one frog hair snipe has he missed. Oh, my goodness. 51 to Jonathan Friend. Snipers in the house going once to Jonathan Friend. He already has his sniper nest built. There you go. Going twice. Been working it. JR with the double fives. Henry Von Mega out of his <laughs> is out of his sorts. But JR comes in to hit the 55 mark. Wow. Early snipe from JR. He's not messing around. He says, I want that 84 0 going home with me. Going once to JR for the double nickel. Henry would be proud of you, JR. Henry would be proud. He's holding the fort down with the double nickels. Henry might have just won a big hand at poker in Vegas just now. Three, two, one, and sold, sold to J.R. Coffin. I'm out, good sir, says Jonathan Friend. Nice job. Good job, Jr. at fifty-five. Nice job, Jr. Okay, we got the we got the staples smashed down. So now we've got back to the toner action. An eighteen eighty-one O. Look at the beautiful coin this is, guys, gals. Beautiful, eighteen eighty-one New Orleans mint. 139 year old, original patina, original surface. Man, these coins are nice. It is a wow, Jonathan. Look at this thing. Beautiful. You can see a little bag mark on her chin. That's from a uh, reeded edge. That's legit. That doesn't count off on it. That's not any kind of a damage. That's legitimate. That's where they had all these Morgans. Years ago, he's in the bags. I have that one too, says Uncle Shane. He Uncle Shane, I, Uncle Shane, you've bought so many Morgans off of me. I believe you have, he good sir. Now it's everybody's chance to get them because Uncle Shane's already got these Primo Morgans already in his collection. He snagged a bunch of them here over the weeks and months. Whoop! Good thing it's in a flip, huh? Eighteen eighty-four, eighty-one zero. This lady is beautiful, guys. Richly dark patina. Nice highlights. I love this coin. I love this coin. And where are we at? JR at 50. JR just starts it straight out and says, all right, we're going to monkey around. Let's get to the good more coins. 50 for JR Coffin. 51 to Eric K. They haven't even put the manage up, Mrs. ECP. Nope. An 81-0. I'm surprised DOA isn't getting any of these normals. I figured DOA would be all over the top of these Norland Mint Marks, these beautiful coins. Mm. Rich, these are these are collection coins, guys and gals. There's no doubt. JR at 55. These are definitely collection yeah, coins. This is somebody had this. Somebody unfortunately probably passed away, and their family members said, I gotta sell these, you know, and get a better date. 1881 New Orleans Mint. Beautifully toned coin, guys. Original surface, original patina. And JR's at 55. Going once to JR Coffin. He's cornering the market tonight. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to send him something special, Mrs. ECP. Absolutely. Like we do everybody. Absolutely. But if he's the leading guy, we're going to have to load him up a little bit. Trying to get a little one to bed. I was watching the set, says DOA. Oh, I understand, Aww. DOA. It's all good. <laughs> I understand that. I've been there, done that. Mine are all grown up. I don't have to do that anymore. Going twice. Oh, Maybe he'll be in. Yeah, wait till Grand Baby's come yeah, for us. Grand We're going to be doing that. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. Jonathan Friend with again <laughs> the 56. He's I think he's doing man. that to he tear everybody sniper. up tonight. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to see how many I can get frog hair sniping and actually win. JR at 60. 
Whew, JR's like, I'm tired of this. He's been up high enough. He won't try to snipe me. Oh, my. JR at 60. We got the frog hair snipes going on. Man. Going once to JR. I think it, Jonathan's got this down. He's just flat He's out enjoying this. Yep. Going twice. He's he, up on the hill. He perch. He's lowing around. <laughs> He's kicked this thing going. We'd probably be done with the auction by now. He's had so many close snipes. He's you know? keeping it interesting. So it is interesting. Yeah. Oh, my. Well, it's pushing my limit, he says. <laughs> Three. Well, you know what, though? The good thing is if you push your limit a little bit on these coins, you can't go wrong. Where are we? One. And J.R. Friend with a... But 61 snipe. Jonathan. No, Jonathan Friend with a 61 snipe. And J.R. Cawthon with a reverse at 63. You're confusing me. 63. Okay. Milo's outside this whole time. Milo's outside? Who let him out? Poor Milo. That's terrible, Tony. I didn't do it. Marissa let him out. How long was he out there? A half hour? Little ECP let him out. Hey, the star, was, the star got left outside in the dark, guys, for a half an hour. Thank God he came in when he opened the Little door. Little ECP. She heard him scratching. Him. Oh, my. Yeah, and you forgot about him. She let, you got to remember the next door neighbor's dog's in heat, so you yeah. can't you had to stop watching him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys, for all the distractions. Poor Milo. Milo needs a little bit of oh. air time. Where you at, Milo? Come here. He's under your feet. Milo. I was like, I'm going to stay with you, Dad, because they threw me outside and never opened the door back up. Poor Milo. The star. Where's the Milo emojis at? Poor baby got left outside. You got left outside in the dark on the front porch for a half an hour. Oh, my God. It's a treat. My wife thinks more of this dog than she does me, and I turn around and she gets left out there. Little ECP. Baby. Poor baby. Poor baby. Big ears. Poor baby. Oh, oh my goodness. Milo. Oh, poor oh. thing. Oh. I'm going to spice up the giveaway because of that at the yeah. end of string. You're making a light. Oh, my. Okay. Well, they, oh, hey, it's always worth the star. <laughs> okay, we got JR at 63. Going once. Go on. JR at 63. Go on. Going twice. JR sixty three three two one and sold sold to JR Eric K from the Sniper Perch Congrats. missed it by a frog's hair. Nice job. Oh my, that was close. Okay. Got to go by my screen. You got it sixty three. Nice JR, you got it for sixty three. JR nice Eric job. just missed you. Can I go by my screen? Next one. 63 to JR. That was my, let's see what we got next. 1935. Oh, oh, guess what got out of line, guys? You know, I'm throwing a curveball. Yeah, I'm doing this yeah, on, purpose. You did that on purpose. I did do this on purpose. You ready for this, Shane? We're ready. Shane, can you hit curveballs? <laughs> Eric K., can you hit curveballs? JR Cawthon, can you hit curveballs? Curveballs, curve, curveballs. Curve Think it, check this out, Pinger. Y'all ready for this? Okay. Jonathan Friend, you ready for a curveball? 1935S. Peace dollar. Good boy, Uncle Shane says, yes, I can hit curveballs, ECP. <laughs> 35, you got it. Check it out. S. S. Jonathan Friend says, I'm prepared. Okay. Look at this. Goldenly, nicely, original patina tone, nice feathers. Look at them feathers. Look at that S. Look at this reverse, guys and gals. 1935 S curveball. The curveball is out. I did do that on purpose. You're right. I forgot I did it. I made yeah, this up last that. week. 1935 S. What do you think of this? We got those in your collection. <laughs> What's the message on a 35 S? 1935 is shame. He might. He if he doesn't, does. if he doesn't, he'll probably snag it. He probably it. does have it. You'll find out in just a second whether he bids or not. It might be a nicer one than what he has, too. <laughs> a lot of these are hard to get in good condition like this. Golden tone, original patina. Beautiful. 1935S. One million. I did. I've been showing all kinds of them. Okay. 1,964,000. Wow. We're going to start it out at Mrs. ECP. What's that say? 
Fifty dollar starting bid. Fifty dollar starting she bid. That's a beauty. Nice details. S mint mark. Nineteen thirty-five S. That's an old coin. Great Lakes Silver Stacker at fifty. It is a nice looking coin. Uncle Shane at fifty-one. You might need that one, Mrs. ECP. See if we can get a good look. There it is. Thirty-five S. Nice toner. Uncle Shane at fifty-one. I had to pay up for this, guys. I had to start it a little bit higher because I paid up for this one. And maybe it's just, a, even if that mintage, they just might be that hard to get a hold of in 35 S's in that kind of condition. But I stepped up and paid a little more for this one. That's a beautiful mm -hmm. coin. Nicely toned. Not all slicked out. Great detail. Great strong S mint mark. Uncle Shane, the 55. Beautiful, beautiful coin. Nice patina, nice original surfaces, nice dark golden brown toned. Mm -hmm. That's the way these peace dollars truly tone. You know that when you don't see the, the, the toning like these, you know they're legit. Because that's how the peace dollars Anyways. toned. They were known for that. Hey, Did you get a treat? Uncle Shane Did at 60. I thought he was 155. <laughs> well, we were, well, we were talking. No, they went from not. 55. Gotcha. Stack was in there at 52. Then Great Lakes Silver State was at 56. And Uncle gotcha. Shane went to 60. Gotcha. Going once to Uncle Shane. He's going to fill his album out with all these tough dates, Mrs. ECP. Going twice. Last year, the Peace Dollar. You got it. 61 to Great Lakes Silver Stacker. These are hard ones to find for your albums and your collection. The, the 33, 34s, 35s, a lot of those 30s are really tough. They didn't get printed like they did the 22s and 23s and 24s. So we got Uncle Shane at 62 with the snipe. Or no, Great Lakes with the snipe at 61. And Uncle Shane with the reverse at 62. Going once to Uncle Shane at 62. Going twice to Uncle Shane at 62 for a beautiful 1935S San Francisco Peace dollar, the last year for the peace, and she's from San Francisco, and she is a treat. Did I actually just say that? You did. Three. Right <laughs> two. The San Francisco treat. And Jonathan Friend with the snipe at 63. Head. He's got to be driving these guys crazy because they're like, I've oh, got it. It's mine. And Jonathan comes in from the perch. And his super sniper nest and snipes him. But Uncle Shane just says, I ain't fooling with this nonsense. Reverse snipe, 64. Right back at from Uncle Shane. Going once to Uncle Shane. Going twice at 64 to the uncle. Uncle and niece's treasury. And three... Two, one, and Jonathan Friend again, the double Boom. snipe again, and Uncle Shane's having none of this stuff at 66, <laughs> none of it, he says, bring on okay. your snipe, I got more chambers in my barrel, he fires right back at him, that. man, okay. I'll tell you what, frog hair snipes and reverses. That's what we need to do. We need to do a reverse, a reverse shot from when people get sniped and they immediately shoot right back. We'll call it the reverse. I got to think about it. That'd be a good emoji, a reverse, a reverse on a snipe. We need a reverse shot. We need a reverse shot. Jonathan says, thing, I can't do it, he says. Going once. He said that before, and he pulls it out, doesn't he? Uncle Shane at 66, going once. Twice to Uncle Shane at 66. Jonathan Friend might be joking with us. He still may pull it out. Three, two, one. 
And oh, he did. I told you I called it. 67 <laughs> to Jonathan Friend. He thought about it. <coughs> and the reverse repeater at 68 from Uncle Shane. He thought about it. Oh my goodness. This is just like back and forth, back and forth. This is this is nothing but battle back and forth oh. of nothing more than snipers and frog hair snipes on Morgan's tonight. All right, and Milo we? says, holy cow, what's going on? Where are Uncle Shane at 68. That's it. I'm done, says Jonathan's friend. <laughs> going once to Uncle Shane. He said that before. I don't trust him, Mrs. ECP. Going twice. Shame. Get in that bed, says Pinger Prospect. <laughs> Three. Two. One. And sold, sold. Yeah. Nope, I'm done, he says. To Good Uncle job, Shane. Shane. For 68. Congratulations. Congratulations. Woo. I don't know if we can get this auction off tonight, Shane. Mrs. ECP. Oh, my. Oh, my. What are we next on? You have a... You got a big Morgan zone. 1879. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. We went to 11.30 before. We're okay. <laughs> you think so? About 11.30 is about where we normally go 1879. to. 18.79. Yeah. Oh, Morgan. Oh, we're getting there. We're about on the right time frame. Okay, 18.79, New Orleans. I'm saying Shane's got this Ooh. one, guys. You can snag it. Morgan. 18.79, New Orleans Mint. DOA might have his kids to bed. Mm. There's an O Mint mark there. I don't know whatever happened to Richard Davis. He used to come in late. Eighteen seventy nine and Eric K at fifty five. There you go, Eric K. Eric says I want to Eric snag something off. tonight. He's like Shane's probably got this one. <laughs> there you go. Eric K. Eric's at fifty five for the Morgan. Eighteen seventy nine blast white. Shane show does it? says I have that one. I thought I remembered you. I did show it, Mrs. ECP. I showed the front and the back. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Right. Carl's Coins at 56. I wasn't paying attention. It's early. Only eight here, says Eric oh, K. It's 11 here. 11 here. Mrs. ECP's whining. I don't whining. He's not whining. Carl's Coins is at 56. Can we start an early countdown? We jumped up there high. Sure. We got Eric K. He's got his sniper perch made. He says it's only eight. He's good. <laughs> Going once. To Carl's Coins, but watch out. Eric's got his sniper nest built. Going twice to Carl's Coins for 56. I want to start counting it down. It's only 8 o'clock at Eric's place. He's fresh. He's built a new sniper, Sean. And J.R. Cawthon with the snipe at 57. And I'll tell you what, I was typing in sold, so I'll give that a frog hair snipe out of J.R. J.R., my friend, Pinger's on top of that. Carl's Coins at 58. 58 to Carl's Coins with a repeater. We need a repeater. We need a reverse a reverse snipe or a reverse shot, shot, a gut shot. Yeah. A gut shot? No. I know. That well, it's gotta be a, It's got to be a swing around shot fast because you uh, probably get them in the gut every time. I don't know. Oh, my. J.R. at 60. It. Carl says he's out. This is a family channel. Finger prospect. It's a family channel, Mrs. ECP. <laughs> Finger prospect. He's got a Morgan battle going on here. Yes, we do. do. JR at 60. Carl says he's out. Going Come once down. to JR. But remember, Eric K jumped it up in there right at the bat at 50. So watch out for Eric K. He may not be out. Going twice to JR Cawthon. We're going to count it down to JR. Three. Two, one, and Jonathan Friends up to his old shenanigans at 61. <laughs> Jay, Jonathan Friend, he makes me Eric K at 62 with a wraparound snipe just ahead of Jonathan Friend. We got a three way battle now. A three way, and it is a battle. Three-way battle. My goodness gracious. Eric K. at 62. 
going once on the three-way battle for Eric K at 62. Ooh. Is Eric going to get his first win? I don't know. I don't know Let's either. Check and see. Going twice to Eric K. My God, how big a boy are you, says Eric K. <laughs> that sounds like he's going to be fighting words. Sounds like Eric K is going to throw down on this one. Three, two, one. Oh, Jonathan Francis, I'm a big, big boy at 63. Oh, my goodness. Right back. Jonathan Fran, how big a boy are you? I'm 63 feet big with a double, like Pinger's got it on top of this, the frog hair snipes. My right goodness. Here. Jonathan Friend. Going once Get, to the big boy, he Eric like K. It. He wants to know how big you were. He told you. <laughs> See what Eric K does in response. <laughs> Going twice. Ray Mercer says, Pinger, how big a boy are you? <laughs> yeah, that's, that is Ray. Have you ever heard those phone calls, Ray oh, Mercer? Yeah, absolutely. I love Ray Mercer, man. Absolutely. That is the funniest thing in the world. All right, let's count this down to Jonathan Friend. He might have won him another one with a snipe. But Eric K. still battling for his first win for the night as the newbie. Three, two, one. And we're going to count it down to Jonathan Friend. And sold, sold to Jonathan Friend. Oh, look at this. He missed it. Oh, Eric no. K. He doesn't have the timing down that Jonathan Friend does. Okay, how much? He does 63. Just missed good it job. on my screen. Congratulations, Jonathan. That big says Jonathan, Jonathan Friend. Jonathan Friend, good job. Jonathan Friend got it for 63. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jonathan Friend. Very much. Eric K says, darn it. <laughs> that big sold to Friend for 63. Man. That was a close one. You threw a barber in, too. Did I throw a barber in there? Let's, let's, let's hold that off to the end of the screen. Okay. All right. Since we're in the Morgans. Yeah, I don't think we can I don't think we Morgans. can do people the Morgans that way. All right. Let's throw it after these Morgans. All right. I got another curveball I threw, but I'm not going to do it. I, I was doing that in case we had some people come in late. They always say, oh, the barbers are all gone. Okay. So I took a special barber and kept it out. We'll and put, put it, it back in. So we're going to put it at the end of the Morgans there then. Okay. The end of these three. We'll do it that, and then we'll have okay. the two for the end of string. 1879. Okay. S. 18. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, the S mint marks are coming out tonight, Shane. 1879. Nice look at the look at the rim toning. Roy D. Mercer. My God, how big a boy are you? <laughs> That's Roy D. Mercer. I told y'all this. Everybody loves Roy Mercer, man. Check it out. 1879S. Got some wear on the high points. Nice toning. Nice patina. Beautiful coin. 1879 Morgan Lady. It's nice. Very nice. San Francisco treat. And what are we going to put this one up for Mrs. ECP? Oh, yeah, I paid up on that one too, didn't I? Forty-five dollar yeah. starting bid. Got that a minute ago. Just got that one, eighty-seven nine S. Uh, yep. This one I had to pay up for. We're starting that one at forty-five. Reverse again, please. Absolutely. Jr. at fifty. At fifty. That's nice Yeah. See if they can get a good view on there. See, it's got some wear on the front breast feathers. Nice rim toning for it. Nice coin. 1879S. What's the mint mark on those? The mintage on those? Anybody want to look up? Thank you, Jonathan Friend. Yes. And anybody that's new today, remember, it's only $4 shipping for the entire order. And please, if you've never bought something from my auction before, I know we got new people in here bidding and new wins. Make sure you send me your mailing address, yes, please, in the that. notes of your PayPal. Make sure you do it. It's the third reverse, says Pinger. Good to know. So JR is at 50. We're going to count it down to JR Coffin. Going once to JR for 50. Going twice to JR at 
fifty. And three dollars for shipping when then I overpaid by a dollar. Oh my <laughs> three two one and sold sold the JR. the JR. Oh Eric K missed it again. That's the snipe. Yes. Nope. JR got Slide it. On the, right. Slow on the trigger. Eric's just a little <laughs> slow on that. Slow snipe. On the JR at Congratulations, 50. JR. And he went for the double fifty five, the Henry right. Von Mega snipe. Okay. So he got it for fifty. There's a good buy there, JR. Yes it was. All right, guys, check this out. Two really nice coins, guys. Right now, here's one, JR. You're killing me, Smalls. If you're going to win one tonight, JR, this is the one I'd win. JR's one of ten. Not JR, uh, Eric K. Yeah. JR's won a bunch. JR's Eric K hasn't won one tonight. This is the one, if I were going to win one, Eric. 1878S. Morgan. There's one to win. There's a lot of people probably going to go after this Hi, one. Check it out, guys and gals. Look at this thing. It even has, dare I say, almost a proof-like finish. Great details. Great breast feathers. Look at them, guys. Look at it. You can see the reflection. See the green in there from my iPad? It's got almost a proof, almost like a mirror-like finish. The quality of this coin is unreal. Nice-looking coin. This is coin is beautiful. Well, it's the last two Morgans of the Knights. This one in the CC. I'm going to do this coin, I'm going to do that barber, then I'm going to do the CC, and then I'm going to do that rattler. I'm going to do the rattler, so you guys know, and I may do that gold nugget. So i got a few things still to do, but we're laying to the last four or five really strong items. 1878S. Beautiful coin. Look at the luster on this thing. Can you see the luster just dripping off of this thing? Luster Rich 78S. This thing is the real deal. Nice, nice coin. 1878S. Do I need to say more? Do I need to say any more? Look at this thing. Wow. You can see the luster on it just from the lighting there. 1878S. What are we starting out at? Are you kidding me? No, that's what you put. Only a $50 starting bid, guys, for a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous 18 cent. Look at the tails, please. Sure. Let you get a good close look at this coin. Look at the mirror finish. Can you see that green on my iPad there up and down below the tail? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like seven tail feathers. $50 starting bid. This thing, look, can you see that? Look at this. I'll put my thumb, my, my hand back here. Look, you can see my see my reflection. That reverse is like proof-like. Strong strike, guys. Very strong strike. Very strong strike. Look at this. You can see reflections in this thing. It's got reflections. Dare I, you know, I don't, you know, proof-like is a very subjective thing, except I'm telling you right now, this has reflections. This has got reflections on both sides. You can see you can see a little face reveal with my face right there. See my face? Here's my face in the coin. My ugly face. Yeah, I'm just telling you. You can see my face on both sides. Nice coin. Very, very nice coin. 1878 S. Look, I just set it down. You can see the luster from side to side. This coin is definitely an AU BU coin. I haven't sat there and studied it a lot, but this is. This is a top notch, one of the nicest coins of the night. So we got Carl's coins at 50, JR at 51, Carl at 52. Now this is one to take home for you there, Eric K. If you're gonna win a Morgan, buddy, this is the one to snag. JR at 55, double nickels for JR. What a gorgeous coin. What a gorgeous coin. It's a good looking one. 1878S. San Francisco treat. San Francisco mint. We got JR at 55. Wow. Hey, Ricky, I thought this thing would be through the ceiling by now. Going once. 
to JR at 55. This is ECP says, give it time for the lag. I go on twice you ready to, to JR to an absolutely gorgeous Uncle Shane at 57. Jonathan, well, I spent all my money. I guess I'm out on that nugget. Oh, man. <laughs> Never dreamed you'd run out of money. <laughs> Never dreamed. Uncle Shane with the snipe. At 57, little frog in there with the action on those beautiful Morgans. And this is a B-U-A-U -U Morgan. It's gorgeous. Going once to Uncle Shane at 57. This may be the deal of the night. Very well may be the very best deal of the night. I don't know. It depends on where it goes. Going twice. To Uncle Shane. Is this going to get into your fingertips, Uncle Shane? This lady's gorgeous. We're going to start counting it down to Uncle Shane. Jonathan Cook in the house at 58. Got some lurkers going on. Jonathan at 58. Uncle Shane at 59. J.R. Cawthon at 60. I knew where this coin was going. They were just holding back, Mrs. ECP. They were all just holding back. So let's just see what's going on here. Uncle Shane at 61. 61 to Uncle Shane. You got it, Finger. They're after it today. They are after it. They're going to stretch this thing out. I know where this coin's going. Going once to Uncle Shane. The Saints got it down. Morgan Snipe Battle. Morgan Snipe Battle. Morgan Snipe Battle. To Uncle Shane, going twice. But J.R. Cawthon's got it at 62. Snipe from him, but Uncle Shane back at 63. 63. Jonathan Cook right behind him after Uncle Shane. Uncle and niece's treasury at 63 has the bid. We got a three way battle going on here. Jonathan Cook at 65. 65 to Jonathan Cook. We'll try and count it down to Jonathan once. Going once to Jonathan Cook for beautiful 1878S Morgan. The San Francisco treat luster is dripping off of this coin. Luster Bomb, Original Mint Luster, going twice to Jonathan Cook for an 1878S. But Uncle Shane says, uh-uh, not too fast. 67, two spots ahead of the 65 from Jonathan Cook. Sniper, Sniper by Frogs here, says Pinger Prospecting. Coming up through there. 67 for Uncle Shane. Going once. We got a big battle going on. We never know who all's still lurking. Mm -hmm. We don't even have Henry in here throwing his weight around. This is mm -hmm. your guy's chance. Going twice. We've had some big battles with Shane and Henry. Going twice at 67 to Uncle Shane for an 1878S <laughs> San Francisco treat. Luster Bomb coin. And here we're going to count her down to Uncle Shane. Going once. Going twice. And three, two, one. And sold, sold to Uncle Shane for 67. Nice job, Shane. Congratulations, Shane. Congratulations. What a gorgeous, gorgeous coin. Wow, wrap that one up special. That one's just phenomenal. Shane, you're going to love that one. Good, good. Man, that thing's pretty. Okay. All right, we're going to throw this one in the mix. Everybody always says, ah, oh, the more the barbers went early. This is a nice... 1909S Barber. Nicest barber of the night. Strong VG. Maybe better. Look at the reverse. Look at that. Look at that. Got some E Pluribus Unum still in there. 
Strong arrow, strong S mint mark. We got the San Francisco treats tonight, guys and gals. 1909, nice patina, nice original surfaces. Very strong barber, not all slicked out. Good rim, strong S mint mark. Look at that mint mark. Strong mint mark. This thing's a beauty, it really is. Well, we starting this one out, Mrs. ECB. Let me get a good focus on that. Throwing another curveball. This was a slider. That's a slider, not a curveball. $25 starting bid. Can't beat that. $25 starting bid for a 1909S in strong grade. Strong grade here. Least a VG. You done took all my money and used that at me? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Carl's Coins wants to get one. <laughs> Digging your credit's good, Jonathan. You can pay me a few days later, my friend. We'll give you some credit if you really want it that bad. We'll figure it out. I've known you for too long. Carl's Coins at 25. This one time. I can't make a habit of that. <laughs> JR at 30. It is a beautiful coin, though. It is gorgeous. Well, we're trying to mix it up a little bit. I can't keep you guys thinking the same thing every week. We've got to get you a surprise or two, right? Or we get boring. Yeah, you can't get boring. We've got to keep you guys in here watching. We're down to 27 people. I'm like, what happened? It's late. People go to bed. I know, but it's like, it's we're, hey, we had Super Sniper it's Jonathan Thran dragging him out here tonight. That's awesome, though. He super Sniper, exciting. he did. He did keep it exciting. And he kept it's it good. Bedtime. Oh, she's getting all sleepy. Yes, it's my bedtime. JR at 30. I can't take you on that, sir, even if I <laughs> could. I'd take uh -oh. there, I guess, oh, no worries, my friend. Going once That's to JR. Going twice about to, lose your helper. to JR, so I don't lose my helper. <laughs> We're going to counter down. You snipers better get your quick triggers going. Three, two, two. man, you're going to get a heck of a deal there, JR. One, and. So sold to J.R. Cawthon. What a good deal and beautiful. Right. Silver Wheels and Henry would have been all over that yeah. one. $30, I believe. Perfect. Sold for $30. That's a steal, says Great Lakes. You are. It was a steal. Yeah. Hey, there's been some good deals for people. Absolutely. Very good deals. Okay, let's do the Gold Nugget. I thought you wanted that one um, No, nope, we're doing the Gold Nugget. Okay. It's almost one gram. One gram, beautiful gold nugget. Everybody wants the gold. Dang, there it is. Just save some of your mungy. Just save a little bit of your mungy. Okay. All right, let's start this low. As low as I can go. Miss ZCB shaking her fist at me. <laughs> She's shaking her fist. It's a natural gold nugget. One of the rarest things okay. you can still find in its original state. This. Brings a much bigger premium than coins, guys and gals. Natural, Natural gold nugget, 0. 0.91 grams. Right? Point what? You can, Jonathan. 0. 0. 0.91. Just don't ship it out until I get payment, though, just okay. so you know. Here we go. Where are you starting? At? We'll start it out at $60. $60. $60 starting bid, almost a full gram. Mm -hmm. Natural gold nugget. It's a beauty. Alaska Gold Nugget, $60 starting bid. N8, Nate says 70 Hey, I told you I'd start them low. I always do. I start them well below what you'd ever see them sell for. Nate, that's, that stimulates the bidding. If you start them low, it stimulates the bidding. See, I started there 60 and Nate says 70 Tells you how low I started. The same way at the Morgans. I started them at 35 or 38 They say 50 55 ECP starts them low. That's just how it goes. I mean, I, I get them, you know, below, a lot of times I start them well below my cost. I start them below spot a lot of times, too. Nate at 70, guys. And realize, when I pull this out of here, I'm going to show you something. This is the real deal. This is a real gold nugget. This is not any kind of drop nugget. This is legit. It's the real deal. It's an Alaska gold nugget. Dug right out of the ground, either dredging or high banking or sluicing. This is the real deal. 
You can tell a difference between a real gold nugget and a drop nugget in about two seconds if you know what you're looking for. And I'll verify this is 100% natural Alaska gold nugget, your money back. You look this under the loop, it's gorgeous. 0.91 grams, just shy of a full gram. This thing is a beauty. You ought to feel this thing. You feel the weight in it. Nate at 75. Less than 1% of all gold still in its natural state. They are rare. You get those one grammers, two and three grammers. This is not a drop nugget. This is not melted jewelry. This is 20 to 22 karat gold. It's not pure, but this thing's the real deal. You see it right here on the side here. Oops. They had stickers made for them. Alaska gold nugget. You know what state it came from. You know, it's a natural placer nugget. You can like tell it's a placer. Treasure chest. It came directly out of my private collection. I can tell you that. I wouldn't own it if it wasn't. This came right out of my treasure chest, out of my treasure chest. I showed a picture of Stormy the other day in my treasure chest. He about lost it. <laughs> Stacker at 90. 0.91, almost a full gram of gold, guys. This thing's gorgeous. 0.91. That's if you want something special, you want something nice in your collection, this is the real deal. Nate says it's yours, Stacker. Let's see. You got a lot of people lurk. We ain't started the countdown yet. Great Lake Silver Stacker at 90. Going once for the natural gold nugget, the Alaska nugget. It's gorgeous. Man, this is the real deal. Going twice. The Great Lakes Silver Stacker. We're going to count it down. Good thing Richard Davis isn't in here. I know. He would be all Richard over. Davis says, I want you to get some gold nuggets in here. Then he doesn't show up at the auction. He'd be all over it. <laughs> hey, he said he That's wants okay. it. He goes back and watches the replay. He'll go, That's dang it. Right. And three, I can tell you one thing. Great Lakes Silver Stacker is it's saying, happy. I'm glad Richard yes. Davis is not in here. Yep. Jonathan Friend. With a $91 snipe. <laughs> oh, he retracted his message. Okay, good deal. One. <laughs> and sold, sold. Yay. To Great Lakes Silver Stacker. Congratulations. Jonathan Great retracted. Lakes. I'd already written it all down. That Great to... Lakes, you want it, my friend, Perfect. for $90. Nice job. We had, we had a misfire there. <laughs> misfire from Jonathan Friend. It happens. Hit the cap and the gun didn't go off. <laughs> 91. Nice. Very nice. Fantastic. Okay. 90. Okay. Here we go. Now, I know there's a lot last of people one. here who's been wanting to do it. I'm going to... Let's last see. Last one, dear. Let's look at this. This last one, or we're going to yeah, do this last one? This last one. Wait a second, because I showed them both. Oh, All right. Mrs. ECP wants to call tonight. So, she wants me to push one of these to next week. What do y'all think? Yeah. We got the Carson City... 1890 cc rare key date and we've got the 1886 rattler now guys let me tell you a little bit about these old green labels this coin's freaking gorgeous this is this is a blazer it's ms63 i can just about guarantee you this is undergraded notoriously shane will tell you richard joseph richard all the numisticists in here jr on this is Probably very far undergraded as an MS-63. They were notoriously undergraded in the old green labels. It's a rattler here. That's why it's upside down. You could you could shake this enough to where you could turn it right side up in your collection. But it gives a little bit of character that you got it there. Yeah, it's a 64-65. I agree, Uncle Shane. Let's save this to next week. Silver Knight says let's do the CC. Let's push this one back to the end of stream for next week. So that'll get everybody tantalized because that'll give people a little chance to look at it and say, you know what, that's an undergraded Morgan. They're notoriously one or two spots. I think it's a two spot. Look at the cheek and the, the fields on this. Honestly, the truth be known, Shane, this should go in my collection, you know. We talked about it. But look where, look at this, too. I'm not even sure. the Look at the die when you flip that. The die's even off some there on it, on the flip. But we'll put this one back till next week. We're going to make this the last one and then a giveaway for the 1890 Carson City.
And this is a beautiful Carson City, by the way. So if you wanted a Carson City, and I know many of you said, I want a Carson City for my collection. This has got nice details, nice strong Liberty band. Wear on the high marks, nice rim, nicely toned. Shane Avery will tell you, rare key date, Carson City. Look at the reverse. Look at the obverse. That is gorgeous. I should keep it, Uncle Shane. I'm going to play it by ear. I... I, I just I just hate to keep them because if I show them, I say it like that, I did it. I'll think about it. That's not a bad idea. But I'd probably want to crack it and resend it in and come back a 65 or 66 unbeknownst. Be some good money. You never know, Jonathan, friend. Some of those CCs, you can get some good deals. This is a beautiful Carson City. We got people in here that need this tonight's the question. Carson City. 1890 Carson City, rare key date. And this thing's a looker. Nice steel gray patina, original surfaces, beautifully toned, evenly toned. This thing's a wow, like Cherie Ward said, wow. Exactly what it's at. Let's see where we're at for the Carson City. All right, 1890 CC. That's unreal, Mrs. ECP. $100 starting bid, $5 bids. $100 starting bid for this Carson City. $5 bid. We're starting, wow, way too low. For the level of detail, that's way too low. Great Lakes at 125 He knew. Oh, there you go. Yeah, well, he knew. I just, I don't know. I write these things down sometimes. I wonder when am I smoking, but I know where they go. 125 to Great Lakes Silver Stagger for a beautiful 1890cc. Pinger Prospecting is going, wow, do I want to get on this one? <laughs> Guys, this is the real deal. It's a nice one. I don't have it. You're kidding me, Shane. I thought you did. Wow. Nice, nice. Oh, I think yours is a 91 you got, isn't it? I'll tell you what, the patina is unreal on this one. This is probably a flip material if you find it for a good deal, because I'm telling you what, people will fight you for this thing. With that kind of patina, with that kind of even toning, being a CC and that good, that strong, look how beautiful that Liberty is. So it just blackens the letters. This thing's perfectly toned. JR at 130. This thing's a looker. When I saw it, I, I, it was one of the first coins I grabbed when I was looking at it because I said, it's just a stunner. That's what I use, a righteous stunner. Look at that rim, how strong it is. A lot of the Car Carson Cities guys, they don't have this kind of level of detail and usually not this beautiful toning. This thing's gorgeous. 145 to the stacker. JR one for Great Lakes Silver Stacker 150. If you're going to own a Carson City, this is the one to own. Thing's beautiful. Very beautiful. Cherie Ward had it right. Wow. Just wow. This is what we're known for, Cherie. You've hung in there and stuff. Get these things out. This thing is a beauty. This is a beautiful rare key date. It's gorgeous. Stacker at 150. Dare we try to count her down? Going once. Don't do any frog hair snipes on this one, for God's sakes. <laughs> You're going to try and win this one. You better get it out before twice or after it. Have the 78, 79, the 90, 91, 83, and the 94 CC. Oh, wow. 84 CC. Okay, so you do have the 90. You do have the 90. I thought you said you didn't have the 90. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, there's always such a thing as upgrading, too. <laughs> Daniel Wilson, I need one of these, says Jonathan Friend. <laughs> you got it. I'm going to count it down. Go on. Twice. Silver Knight. Great coin auction. Aww. Great. Thank you, Thank Silver, you Silver Knight. Knight. Coach in the house. Hey, Coach. At 155. Hey, Coach. He's either been lurking or he come in late. <laughs> the coach has snagged. I think Coach snagged a CC last did. time, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Wow. There's a snipe from the, the, from the back door snipe. He likes Great the Lakes at 160. Coach, I hope you saw this one good. I just see you in here bidding, but this thing's a stunner. We've had CCs in here, but this is a CC of hmm. great, great toning beautiful evenly toned it's gorgeous i'm assuming he was just lurking so he's mm -hmm. probably already seen this coin good 
Oh, everybody can wow. Start, start again. Yeah, sometimes you're sitting back, relaxing, you don't want to chit chat, and you see something you want. It's like, exactly. that puppy's mine, mine, mine. So I'll show off the Carson City side here a little bit. There we go. A beautiful CC. Coach is at 180. Lurking, says Coach. So he did get good view of Mrs. <laughs> good, 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 good. He was lurking out there. He's waiting to snag well, him. Well, it's nice to hear from you, Coach. Yeah, Coach, East, the Mrs. ECP missed you there. Absolutely. Oh, my. I nice wonder if Richard you. Davis is ever lurking. Uh, he would have snagged that gold nugget if he was so. lurking. I think he would have. <laughs> Amazing. High quality, beautiful items tonight, ECP. Thank Aww. you, Tay Jones. Thank you. Been on and off working. Always great stuff on here. Aww. Thank you. Y'all spread so the word, please. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It is a beautiful coin. It's gorgeous. Let's see if we can count her down to okay. Coach or the Great Lakes. Let's see who's got the bed. Let's see right now. Thanks. Where's Milo? Milo's he in the bed? He is in there with the Mrs. little ECP. Little ECP? Yeah. Why don't you go grab him for Coach real quick? Okay, okay. I think Coach is on West Coast time. I'm about ready to go to bed. Yeah, Mrs. ECP is ready to get there. We're counting down. Let's count it down. Going once. We got Coach at 180. Great Lakes Silver Stacker at 185. And I hear the star coming down the road. 190 for the coach. Mrs. ECP is going to try and catch him. Milo, wake up for the coach. He's awake. He's just laying there. Come here, Miles. Look here. Uh-oh. Rookie's here today too, coach. The golden doodle from my daughter. 195 from Great Lakes Silver Stacker. Milo, there he is, Coach. There he is, Coach. He's getting a treat. The San Francisco treat's been given out tonight. He got it from Rookie, and we got it from Milo. Look here, Miles. Look at Coach. See how the Coach says, I want something to eat. Come here, let's get a close-up of him. There he is, says Coach. Milo's the star, and Rookie's taking up the FaceTime there. There, Come Milo. Here, Ricky. He's, Come here. he's covering you up, Milo. Come here. The big dog's covering him up. There he goes. All right. Let's see if we get this Morgan off. This beautiful Carson City Morgan. Wow. Where are we at? We got Great Lakes Silver Stacker at 195. Going once to Great Lakes Silver Stacker. Blah, blah, blah. I'm getting tongue tied again, Mrs. ECP. <laughs> the coach got another bullet in his chamber. Going twice. We might have distracted coach with the Milo <laughs> star shot. And we're going to count it down. Milo and rookie. Wolf, 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 says Mike Wolf. Mm -hmm. Mike Wolf's in here. I mean, he was in there Great Lake Silver. I know, but he's hanging in here with I us. Know he is. He's hanging tough. <laughs> All right, Coach, here's your chance. All right. Great Lake Silver Stacker at 195. We're going to count her down. Three. Two. Chance for the laggage going on. One. And. Sold, sold to Great Lake Silver Stacker. Congratulations, my friend. 195. Nice job. Thank you. Good Congratulations, Congratulations, Great Lakes. Wow. What a big, big win. 195. Nice. Thank you. Good battle between you and mm -hmm. Coach. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. And we're going to do a giveaway, right, Mrs. ECP? Absolutely. We're going to do a we're going to do we're going to do something special or something different or what are we going to do? I got a more How about we do a double barber? Or double Merc. A double Merc giveaway. Oh, you know what we could do? What? I know what we can do. Okay. Let me look here. I've been here for about the last five coins, he said. <laughs> Miss CCP, are you really tired? Yes. You don't want to do this last one now? No. Oh, man. I mean, you can do what That's you want. That's one Shane told me I'm to keep. I'm so tired. I thought I was going to get that one in there. All right, she's too tired. I thought Coach might want that one. You never know about Coach. All right, we're going to give away, give away, Cherie. 
Keep it ECP, says Dennis. I'll end up auctioning it, Dennis. It'll go next week's. Okay. It'll be here next week's. You all see my, you all saw my move, my toners. It would go nice in my toner collection. <laughs> An old school toner like that, undergraded. Keep it, says Shane. I hear you, Shane. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's an ugly mark. I want to yeah, get an ugly mark. Ugly okay. Let's get the ugly mark out. Double Merc giveaway. Only on the ECP channel. Double silver. You got it. Double Merc giveaway. Right here. It says, Mrs. ECP wants them wallets to recharge. Smart gal. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I just want to get it. Good <laughs> luck, y'all. Thank you for an ama amazing stream, ECP. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I know I compete against a lot of people on Thursday nights, but I keep my 30, 40 regulars, it seems like, ongoing. And then some people don't come in that night. Other people pick up. We've always got some new people jumping in, but it seems like we always get, you know, 29, 30 people. So I need a piece of paper to write down this number, sweetheart. Okay, dear. I gotcha. So I'm going to get my last drink of water. How's the beekeeping going? It's going pretty well. Uh, today I was out there with Mrs. ECP, and I was putting these Swiffer cloths in there last week because I had one hive had a couple of hive beetles in it, and they get caught in the Swiffer cloths, and then you can kill the beetles and you get rid of them. So long story short, the bees don't like stuff like that in their hive, so they drag it out. They drug a piece of Swiffer cloth out, it was hanging from the front entrance, and I went over there and pulled it off, and the bees didn't like it because I was getting up there around their their junk and messing with their hive and pulling that off. And a couple of them started bumping me, and I run back to the truck, and Mrs. ECP screaming at you, you're going to get bees in there, and I'm going to get stung. So I got I got to, I got to give it to me a little good there uh, today. But I didn't get stung, and I did get that piece pulled out. But I wasn't ready to mess with the bees, but I, I saw that hanging. It was driving me nuts, and I had to do something. All right, one guess only. Wait for ECP. But the bees are doing good. And, um, Coach, I put up a uh, playlist with all my bees. So if you want to run a playlist and watch all the bees channel, the bees I've got, uh, you can run a pe playlist, guys. So I've got like a, a grading playlist and a, a prospecting playlist. Where I do gold prospecting, those are some of my older videos where I started my channel. I do a lot of gold prospecting, which I need to get out and do more of. And then I've got the newest beekeeping playlist. So there's three playlists. There's a coins playlist, there's a prospecting playlist, and a beekeeping playlist. So if you ever want to do that, it makes it easier to watch all the videos at one time. All right, so I want to say pick a number. Double Merc giveaway. Okay, and we'll pick this number between... It's going to be the closest without going over. And remember, it's one guest only. Make sure you're on live chat, okay? So pick a number between this range, and I'll say go. One guest only. And go. There we go. Let's see if I remember right what number I wrote down. So we'll see who picks it. I think so. And th thank you for all. We got four or five new members today. I know we got the oh, lowest memberships at 99 cents. Everybody. But we did get an ECP fanatic tonight, too, at my highest guys, level. Thank you so Unreal. much. Unreal, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the thank channel. So. Me and Mrs. ECP greatly, oh, greatly appreciate it. More than you can imagine. There's U.S. Silver Stacker. There's William Blanchard. He's still hanging in there. There's one of my <laughs> bee buddies. If and you Coach to... Deborah Walsh is in here. G Dub's in here. See on the giveaways, I get to see everybody. Please send uh, address. If you have yes, if you're a new that. person, a new auction, I don't already have your address. Like Jeff Brown, I don't know if I have your address. Make sure you send me your address, yes, please, please, Jeff Brown, because Mrs. ECP is not seeing it in her address book. So if you're in here, Jeff Brown, please, yeah, on your address. payment or on an email, send me your address. Your uh, your Shipping address, Jeff Brown. If you're still in here, Jeff Brown, I hope he is. Mm -hmm. Jeff Brown comment, I'll tell you. Yeah. Jeff Brown comment. You sure you ain't got Jeff Brown's? Mm -mm. 
Yeah, I'll have to get a hold of it if I don't. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Number 37. 37 for the double mark giveaway. Did you see it? I don't know. I really wasn't looking. Well, you should have been. That's 43, good. 33, 37. Tay Jones. Yay, Tay. J.R. Cawthon right behind him. <laughs> Yay, Tay. Tay Jones and then J.R. Cawthon. All right. Let's Congratulations. In a baggie. Congratulations. Nice job, Jay. Let's send uh, these two to... Tay Jones. Okay. And let's send a more a Merck to uh, Jr. too. Okay. Jr. I'm putting since you've got a close second, Jr. I'm gonna send that that one in there. Well, All right. Tay Jones. William Blanter saying what? Did we miss William? What happened, William? What do we happen? Give that one. There's Tay Jones, mm -hmm. right? And then this was uh, Jr. Put that one in Jr.'s. Put that nice. Jr. I'm gonna throw this little toner in there for you, my friend. He was your close second. Let's okay. see what we what were we missing out of uh, Mr. Blanchard. Oh, wow, had to have the stream muted most of the night because I worked sweet. There you go. Oh. What I missed there on Williams there. William says what? Not sure what the what's for, William. If you want to let me know. Can I get my total ECP? Sure. Great Lakes. Here's sure. the total. Right here. Okay. Great Lakes Silver Stacker. 302, my friend. 302. Tay Jones, need to email me, email you, ECP, or do you still have my info? I think I still Yeah, I got yours, Tay yeah, Jones. I, I remember you. seeing it. Yeah. I think the only one, I swear, are you sure we don't have Jeff? I just looked through there and didn't see Jeff it. Brown, we don't have. Mm -mm. Well, he might have sent it to you. If I go look what he paid, yeah. he might have given it if he's not given That's it before. Fine. If not, we'll find him. Yeah, we see it. I don't think yeah. Jeff Brown's still in here, but I think everybody. We'll you got mine, Jonathan Friend. We have yours, Jonathan. Yes. Yep, we got yours. I got most of everybody's. You got Jonathan Friend's mm. P.O. Box, Mrs. ECP? Mm, yes. Is that what he gave us last Well, look and see. Whatever you got. Okay. Double check and find his. I'm coming. We'll check there. Let's see who else needs a total. There are no ugly mercs, says Tay Jones. <laughs> hey, thank you, Mike Wolf. Milo thank says everybody. thank you. Mike Wolf's been the super chat king on this channel. Yes, he has. He's given more Bless to Milo's heart. bark boxes than anybody ever dreamed of. Bless his heart. Unreal. Thank you, Mike. So, so much. Thank you, guys. Aunt Orta says, gee, slag. There we go. That's so good. I was first at 37, says William Blanchard. Okay, right, let me look with you, William. William Blanchard. Now, I might show that on your screen, William. Let me see where you're at, my friend. Say. Let me go back, because we have to go by my screen. So let me see if we missed you or not. Okay, so William Blanchard, I don't know if you've done this much, but there's a lot of lags that go on, so we have to go by one screen and my screen. So let's look here and see. So we got one guess only 43, 33. Tay Jones at 37. J.R. Cawthorn at 37. Okay. Let's see if it came through. Sometimes they don't. They're, they're, so on his screen, William's going to show it at 37. So what happens, William, is a lot of times on your screen, you're actually showing it third. Mm -hmm. But we'll send William Blanchard a, a Merc too. So William Blanchard, email Jonathan me. Jonathan Friend, post office box. Yes. Yep, we got you a Jonathan Friend, post office box. Okay, so, who else am I? So William, what happens is. Oh, I have Jeff Brown. Oh, I thought you had Jeff Brown's. We oh, got Jeff Brown's Jeff in. Okay. Oh, heck, he's close. He's outside Cincinnati. Yeah. Okay. So you got Jeff Brown. So William Blanchard, email me your mailing address, and we'll send mm. you a Merc out, my friend. Not okay. a problem. Can but you were actually last? third Blanchard. with the 37. It, it has to do with. The lag. A lot of times when you're bidding on these live streams, it'll show up on your screen first because you don't have a lag. And then it might be middle ways down. That happens all the time. It's very common. Okay. Very common. But we'll send you one, my friend. It was a double. Yeah. So William Blanchard, just send me uh, your email. Send me your mailing address. Okay. But that lets you see it on my screen how it did it. William Blanchard. But it will. I've, I've had that happen so many times that I thought I won an auction. 
and it'll and the it'll on my screen it'll show first. Everybody will relate to it. It does that all the time, and that's why we go by one screen. And if you notice that too on some of the snipes and stuff too, it happens that way. But everybody knows it happens. It's pretty common when you get in here. So yeah, thank you, Uncle Shane. I appreciate it. Does anybody else need a total? Mrs. ECP's got all the totals. William Blanchard, send me your mailing address, please. I got Joseph Richards total, Great Lakes, Ozzy's total if he doesn't if he needs it. Jonathan Friends total if he needs it. Mrs. ECP's got them all. J.R. Cotham, we got your total if you need it. Saints, Shane, Suze, George, Jeff Brown, and William. Let's see. William doesn't have a total. Great Lakes says payment sent. William, I just need a, William says free behind. We're sending yeah. him a Merck. So we just need William's email address. I mean, uh, mailing address. I just need your mail, mailing address, William Blanchard, please. I suppose I'll send you the mail. A Merck is not going to break me up, my friend. We'll be good. That way I can send you a sticker, too. Yeah. Yeah, and if you guys will try to sticker in, anybody we know doesn't have a sticker, or if you make sure you don't already have a sticker, we just got these in. They're not the 3Ds, but they're the really yes. nice multi -colors. We'll send you a sticker out, too, for the ECP sticker. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Shane. Thank you, everybody. A lot of good snipes tonight. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You were, Jonathan Sniper, you're the sniper king. You were the <laughs> biggest sniper I've ever had in my channel. Thank you, guys. The biggest frog hitter sniper. Everybody. We need a frog here sticker next time. we we'll have to make it. But thank you very much, everybody. You all take care. We appreciate everything you all have done. Absolutely. Anybody else need a total? Has everybody already kept their own? They're good. Thank you for ain't nobody else needs one. Jonathan cost me a lot of money, says Jr. <laughs> you can have it out with him there, Jr. <laughs> I think he spent all he, his money there, he too. He kept it exciting, though. He did he keep it going. Kept it he kept on going up on there. Isn't it? Kept it exciting. That happens on all these auctions. Everybody costs you. Yeah, I can't fun. tell you how many times I thought I had something that it cost me 30 bucks more or 40 bucks more just one item that I really want. They, they do that to me on Stormy's channel nonstop. Now, guys, <laughs> just so you know, next week we're going to have some currency, okay? I'm going to let you know that we're going to have some nice currency next week. So I give you a little sneak peek. We got some unk, uncirculated silver certificates. We got some star note silver certificates. We got some red seal silver certificates. Check it out. We got some red seal five dollar. We got some blue seal. Silver certificate, five dollars. People love these. These go high. They fight for these. It's crazy. And um, that's a little sneak peek. That's enough. I'm gonna show you everything. But uh, we're looking forward to next Thursday at eight thirty. Tell all your friends. You all come on, have some fun, have a good time with me and Mrs. ECP. We always enjoy your all's company. And we always enjoy it. I need to tell you guys how much we appreciate you. And thank you for the support, all the memberships, all the super chats, all the auction wins. It all goes to a great cause to support the channel. And we really appreciate you. So thank you so much. ECP, Mrs. ECP, big fluffy doodle rookie. <laughs> and, of course, the star, Milo, saying ECPs over and out. Thank you, everybody.